Hello, hello, and welcome everyone to Cold Hard Witch. Uh, go ahead and mug a few more faces there, Ryan. <laughs> All those are free, just for you guys. That's tonight's tonight's little exactly. little bit of freeness for you. It's my you gift to the stream. That's. <laughs> Uh, we are Lawful Stupid RPG, and we're thrilled to have you join us while we play through Rhyme of the Frost Maiden module with some additions sprinkled in on top. My name is Buddy, and I'm the DM of this adventure. Still working on that trifling DM nickname, but I think I'm well on my way. Uh, we continue to run. <laughs> Don't look at me like that. We continue. Like what? Change it up. You need a different one. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. We continue to run short staff due to work commitments, but let's see who we have here tonight. Tonight we have Rodney playing Flynn, the Psy Warrior Fighter. Pike playing Professor Reginald, a human warlock. Uh, Ryan guest starring as Captain Imdra. And joining us tonight is Evadaris guest starring as Luca. How is everyone? Super. Doing well. Thought I'd overload it. I was going <laughs> to. <laughs> <laughs> All right. We're doing okay. When we last left our party, they had found, yet again, the Cauldron of Plenty. Using a drunken ruse, they gained entry to the guard barracks to see if, for some strange reason, they had any prisoners in their bunkhouse. Like you do, apparently. In the middle of their performance, a bunch of rowdy Durgar showed up, and then some ass-whipping ensued. Uh, after the fight, Flynn noticed some Durgar-shaped footprints leading away from the barracks and toward the town hall. They followed and found the guard out front, dead. Heroically, the Harbingers burst into the town hall and began finger-blasting doors open and yelling at the poor people who worked there. And then, in the most amazing twist, the party self-split themselves into three groups and are now on three different floors. And now, friends, let us rejoin Flynn and Zalvana, who have just successfully talked the guards into letting them into the holding area. Uh, and I know that I could just move the characters onto where they are, but ain't nobody got time for that. So I'm just going to move you guys all around the whole time because there's just a lot going on. Uh, so, Flynn, as I said, yes. Zal Zalvana has, uh, has charmed with a, with a 25 persuasion, has charmed the, the head guard who has yelled at his, uh, at his lackey, and the lackey has opened up the hallway. So you can see down this long hall and obviously you can see kind of the edges of jail cells. And if you look all the way down, you can tell maybe that's the beginning of like a bathroom or some sort of washroom area at the very tail end down there. But you are free to, apparently free to explore uh, down this hallway. You look over and see Zalvana. So uh, she she looks at you and kind of nods down the hallway and she leans into the 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 guard so how long uh how long you've been stationed here and you can tell that she is now working her charms um excellent all right i'm gonna uh have i'm gonna tell this guard to, to follow me through the hall and basically i want him to scan like the right side of the hall while i scan the left side so that way um just make sure all the prisoners who are supposed to be there are there have, have, have some of them escaped? I don't. Some of them might be dead. There's a Durgar running around here. Dur Durgar? Yes, Durgar. Oh, there haven't been Durgar here in, in, in I don't know how long. This is terrible. Well, they're here tonight. Let's oh, Come on. We got to <laughs> make sure all your people are alive. <laughs> and so, Flynn, as you pass by that, I will give you a little bit of, of insight into uh you see what looks like another break room maybe oh cut that little triangle off um there's some guards in there one of them sitting at a table maybe eating one of them is just kind of like 
propped up on a uh, like a like a countertop or a hutch or something, and he he's looking over toward you. He obviously has heard the yelling, but there was yelling, so he's not getting involved. Uh, it is worth noting that this door is a a set of bars, a barred door like a regular jail cell. Mm -hmm. So <clears throat> it is currently closed and you would assume locked. Um, okay, I'll deal with that in a second. Okay. Uh, how yeah. Far... I'm sorry. Oh, how far can I go down in this hallway? Uh, you can, everything that is revealed, you can go all the way down. So if you're going to commit to just going all the way down, I'll just mm -hmm. reveal the cells for you. Yes. Um, so long as you're going to commit to that while you roll for initiative. <laughs> kidding, kidding, kidding. <laughs> Yeah, and so you, um, seems like there are five prisoners. There are three younger women uh, on your right as you head down. There's an older woman. And then uh, the last cell. Why don't you, uh, Evidars, why don't you tell us what Flynn sees uh, when he gets to that last cell? So in that last cell, Flynn, you see a man huddled by the far corner just kind of like, not even on his bed. He's in the other corner. You see a large amount of frost coated everywhere in the cell. Floor, ceiling, the bars to the room. You see random scratch marks on everything. Um, you all right? Around. <laughs> you don't smell like no god. Um, uh, I'm because I'm not a guard. Uh, you see a 30 year old man with dark brown hair, nice full beard. Think like Tormund Giants Bane from Game of Thrones. <laughs> <clears throat> he steps up, comes over to the door. Are you gonna Are you gonna let me out? Are you trying? What did you do? I didn't do shit. You don't look like a guard, so you might let me out. Ah, what? Ah. I came to come get shit from town, and then some motherfucker uh -huh. decided he gets to go to jail just because I was walking in the middle of the night. Nobody told me there was a curfew here, if there is a curfew. So just curfew shenanigans? Is that all what you did to get thrown in here? Pretty much. If there's a curfew, I don't know. No one's told me bullshit. They tossed me in here to freeze. Look at all this fucking... And I just swing my arms around at the frost. This is the worst room possible. Did is they it... keep a dragon in here? What the hell? <laughs> Are all the other rooms frosted like this? Uh, they're not, but this one is the closest to the bathroom. And you can, from your, your ears and your olfactory senses, you can tell it is currently being used at the moment. So it's bad in that resort. Or in, in that mm. respect, rather. Okay. Um, I'm just gonna look at him. I'm like, uh, do you? Can you fight? I live in the wilderness and come back to town for supplies. So you tell me, can I fight? Can I run? Oh, it's the it's the Dale. Look, we're Durgar Central in here. All right. I'm probably can use another pair of hands. If I let you out of here, are you gonna? I just, you're not going to stab me in the back if I let you out here, are you? Not today. God, I hate this place so much. I mean, one, <laughs> one day at a time is kind of all you can ask for in Icewind Dale. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, I'm going to, I still have the key ring, right? From, from upstairs. You do, you do, in fact. And you had asked for the, uh, I'm sorry, for the guard to come down with you. Yeah. And... He will like start to say something and then look back up at kind of his captain and then keep his mouth shut and but look away so that he's not seeing what you're doing. Plausi um, plausible deniability. Right. Um I'll I'll do like a like a shout down the hallway. Is anyone okay? Slash can anyone fight down here? 
Uh, you hear one voice uh, coming from here. Is is the one lady who is older? Ah, uh, I know how to fight as long as we can get my stuff back. Um, uh, you just kind of murmurs from the from the other three, the other three girls. Ah, uh, this is probably a very bad idea. I'm gonna look at the guard and be like, "Let him out." Um. Roll me uh, a ro roll me either a a persuasion check or a intimidation check. Can I like mean mug the shit out of the guard while he does that? Like <laughs> absolutely. So roll roll whatever check you'd like of those two uh, uh -huh. with advantage. Okay, I'm gonna try for persuasion. Persuade. Okay. Yeah, Snake Spinner, you're not wrong. Not today, and it is about 11.50. It's almost okay. midnight, so... <laughs> <laughs> you got 10 minutes, Flynn, before, the, before that knife slides in your back. Oh, I've had worse odds. Uh, it's, that's a 19. Uh, he, um, he'll look at you and look back down at, at the captain who is getting along famously with Zalvana. Um, uh, okay, and he'll, he'll pull... So you want him to let the women out and you're going to let, uh, let Luca out. Yeah. Luca and the granny goodness up here. Okay. And you're going to leave the other three girls locked up in cells. No. Let's make an alignment choices. No. I'm gonna, I think I should, I thought, you know, if we're going to go jailbreak, I think we might just go full. I mean, oh, you... no, 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 no. Okay. No, I got it. No, everyone out. Everyone needs to get out. <laughs> <laughs> uh, 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 oh, okay. And, and so he he starts starts unlocking doors. Um, the the his boss up top is with only an eleven is still currently enthralled with uh just Zalvana's stories and and God knows what she's telling him. It's fine. I don't need to know. Uh, yeah, but so he'll. He'll unlock, and uh, these women all step out. And Flynn, why don't you? And and even if, if, if Luca, if you're going to be free as well, why don't the two of you roll me perception checks? I would like to use my sense of smell so I have advantage on this, if that's okay. Uh, it's it's more of a sighted perception. Uh, there's, you're not going to pick up anything I'm going to tell you from smell. Why it's a 10. Have, why do you have a sense of smell? <laughs> <laughs> I've, been sh shitting by the, I've been over by the shit pot the whole time. I'm going to smell something that's not I, shit. Uh-huh. Sure. Uh-huh. Um, <laughs> that's a 17. I mean, he's, he's, he's not wrong. I, mm, okay. I got a 10. The, the, um, Flynn, you, you noticed this, the, uh, what did you call her grainy goodness here? Uh, she looks to be maybe in her early fifties. Uh, she's the one who, who affirmed that, that she could fight. Um, the, uh, the, the tiefling and the, this middle, uh, human woman here, they, they look kind of in, like they're in their early to mid twenties. Uh, they seem fine. This one up here though. Um, oh, I'm sorry. I thought I had their name tags on. I'll, I'll get the name tags on in just a minute. Uh, she looks, she looks pretty rough. Uh, she looks like she's been beaten pretty handily. Um, you know, swollen, swollen eye, you know, cuts and bruises on her face. Uh, she's kind of hobbled over a little bit as though it's, it's painful to, to move about. Um, great. I don't like that at all. Um, before I move up the hallway, uh, I'm going to, I am going to peek, I want to peek around the corner here into the bathroom. Just to, I just got to make sure for sure, man. <laughs> uh, hold on. I'm getting these nameplates turned on for you guys. Uh, yeah, just, you go in there. You're like, light a match. <laughs> Yeah, so you step in, and uh, I'm actually just going to give you a lot of it, because it's a bathroom. Uh, it seems as though the the cell, or the, the 
one that is in use is maybe the one right on the other side of the wall from where you are. I've been here, I don't know, probably 48 hours, 72 hours. I, I don't really fucking know, but somebody could have lit in a match in there. Seriously, they all have stomach issues. <laughs> That's what happens when you live on ice and fish. (laughs) Great. Uh, So sorry for your nose. All right. Um, You stepping in further? No. (laughs) Um, I'll I'll yell to the person in the bathroom, like, finish up and head towards the guard room. Um, And then I want to make my way back up towards... uh, you're gonna, else you're gonna see a guy like just peek his head around and, and he's for sure like Donald Duck and like he's got the top on and like the, the bottoms are just down around his ankles. He's like, Who the hell are you? I'm the one in charge now. Finish your shit and get up here. <laughs> uh roll 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 again, either the persuasion or the or the deception or the intimidation. It's gonna be the persuasion. For that, I won't stab you in the back for a day and a half. <laughs> <laughs> That's just a 13. You know, given his his unique situation, he's going to say, oh, oh, okay. You don't know if he thinks you're in charge, but he is still in the middle of his business. So yeah, he's going to sit back down out of your sight. And I mean, he might have been going number three. But you're with a 13, you're not sure. I don't need to know that. <laughs> um. <laughs> I'm just glad that you picked up on it, so. <laughs> uh, I'm going to go back <laughs> to the card here. Um, and, all right, kid, two things. One, is there any way up to the speaker's office from here? Or, like, past the first level? Uh, I mean, out into the main, through the the drunk tank, and then up the main stair staircase. There's there's not a direct route, if that's what you're saying. There is there any other way to get into here? Is my question. Oh uh, well, uh, yeah. There's, and he'll kind of point into the room that he'll point at the wall, which you you know goes into this room. There there is a set of stairs that that comes up behind the the drunk tank, uh, behind the desk in the drunk tank, but that's. Kind of an official use only stairwell. Um, can I use it? Didn't you say you were in charge? I am. Did you hold on. Um, and he will again look back at his boss, <clears throat> who with a two is <laughs> wowza. I might just change my d20. Uh, with a two, no, no, he is, use it. Use he is it. just like dripping off of her fingers uh, as she tells some nonsense story. Um, and then he'll look back at you. I, 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 I suppose you could, you, you could use that one. Um, All right. Here's what I need you to do. I need you to take your occupants here, put them in the guards room. So that way they'll be protected by you. All right. I want you to be the first line of defense between your occupants here and whatever is going to come up through this do this all here until everything's the y'all clear. These people are your immediate responsibility. Uh, uh, yeah, they they kind they kind of already were. That's that's no that's no no. How, no. That's I, how we had them in the cells. They. I understand that, but I need your eyes on them for the immediate future. Locked behind a cell is not the best place for them to be right now. Um. Oh, okay. come on, Johnny Piss Pants. <laughs> Um, the, the older lady is going to come up and just like straight smash between you two and is going to go to work looking for her stuff. Where's her stuff? That, well, she's looking for it. (laughs) Have I actually been released from my cell? I just want to make sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, so you Um, should, you should have token control and should be able to move. There you go. Um, yeah, but she's she's uh, she's not listening to your uh, your major general crap. She's looking for her stuff. That's fine. I don't think she 
would anyway. Um, it's kind of like let like pointing the Hulk at what you need to break and just let letting him go. <laughs> <laughs> She's not my concern. The other three, they are my concern. I want them with the guards. I, I will tell you that at this range, you can tell that um, Inel, the one that was in this this very first cell up here, she it, it's clear signs that that she has had fists put on her. Roughly. Um. Like how long ago were these fists? They the the wounds are and bruises are pretty fresh. I mean the they're still they're still swollen. They they almost still glisten a little bit. It it hasn't been a tremendously long time. Um, maybe maybe twenty four hours. While I'm telling this guard that I want uh, the occupants in the guards like break room essentially. Um, I do, I'm going to like shoot a telepathic message to her and ask her if the guards have been beating her. And just like nod yes or no. You're going to, to, to Anel right here? Yes. Mm -hmm. Um, can she answer back? Is or is it, that's just a one well, way? No, it's a one way. And I'm, I'm asking her to nod yes or no. Like have uh, the guards been beating you? Yes or no. And she, she will kind of start when she hears it and then she'll see you. And then very subtly she'll shake her head. Yes. Um, and that's where we're gonna move to. God damn it! <laughs> the ground floor. I'm gonna give you time to process that. The ground floor, where we rejoin Delphina and the professor, who have just recently cut open ten bags of flour, the last of the flour here in Targos and have spread it all around the room to uh, to uh, supposedly set a trap, uh, I'm guessing, to, to see uh, errant footprints or anything like that. Yeah, we're trying to track footprints. So the goal was, like, do a couple bags in the main storeroom mm -hmm. and maybe a couple in this hallway. <clears throat> and then if we could put some out here which i because i believe the steps leading up to the speaker's chambers were behind this double door here correct and so yeah i want to make sure that this doorway is covered also so if I, so really if anyone moves through this this hallway that we're in now mm -hmm. i want to make sure they're covered there Oops. and then we're gonna so make our this. way toward the speaker oh geez they're all gone yeah they they are they, they were kind of hitting the bottom of the stairs at the end of the stream last yeah. time so you, you can kind of hear them tromping if, if you're spreading stuff around you can hear them kind of tromping up the stairs um not until we get Embra back and i smite her roundly <laughs> um but yeah so the big room uh, this hallway here, and I'm sorry, there was was there another place? Um, I mean, as as much as we have flower for, I was trying not to go too overboard, but like <laughs> if if we could do this whole hallway, we would. Sure, I, I mean it's to... it, it's like 10, 25 pound bags of flour. Yeah. So that's the goal just cover as as much of this floor of this building with flour as possible uh okay we can do that um you as you're spreading it around celia who is not quite that made it to the front if you remember your last interaction left her a bit dejected uh because you were ranting about how the soup is free and she told you that they kill people who just try to take it she sees you <laughs> yeah, she giving, totally missed my point on that one. She 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 sees you giving a very fine dusting of flour to the entirety of the downstairs of the town hall. Uh, I, 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 excuse me. Uh, um, oh, what exactly are you are you doing? Listen, they're they're moving around invisible. I I I'm sorry. We will work something out for food later. But right now we have to track this person down. The speaker's life is in danger. One uh, thing at in, a time. In, 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 in danger. How? 
I'm going to try not to get frustrated right now. Uh, but we have explained to you several times uh, the Durgar. Yes, yes, you said something about Durgar. There haven't been Dur yes. there have been Durgar here in years. Again, I'm going to try not to lose my patience. They are invisible. We've tracked them to this building. You know this building? You're inside, yes? Yes. Got it. Okay. So we are, you are following some of what I'm saying. Yes, I am. Okay. So unless you have a better idea, which I am open to. Are you? Are you I sure? I haven't. I haven't. I haven't heard any good ones coming yet, but you didn't ask for a good one. You asked for one that was better than yours. And with that, she will turn and leave you crisply through that set of double doors and back into the front room where she slams them behind her. Oh, snap. fantastic! <laughs> okay, and I'll shrug and go about my business. <laughs> <laughs> just continuing to throw this flower around. <laughs> you uh, you see that uh, there are a couple of places where Delphina has uh, drawn a, a D and an L and put them inside of a heart. Delphi, what in blazes are you doing? Oh, and then she'll she'll mess up. Um. Oh. Uh. No. I. I was. Uh, I, it's a good plan. You can. You can see the tracks well. I was using my finger to. Are you helping me or not? Um, y yes. Okay, well then help me with this bag and let's go. Have we heard from, uh, heard from Flynn? Where did, have we heard from Imdra? Where did everyone go? Um, I, I think Flynn and Zelvana went, went downstairs and, uh, and Imdra just, uh, I don't know. I think she went upstairs. Hold on, Ryan just okay. sent me, like, yep. Yep. knowing Help that I'm streaming, Ryan just sent me a wall of text, so. No oh, good. Why don't we read that? Is it, is it, okay. is it good? <laughs> Not a bad omen. It's just a... Okay, he's out. Whew. All right, so looks like I'm playing one more character in addition to the other 400 characters I am playing. Cool. Oh, just, no, I can play Andrew. Is it? <laughs> you all keep saying cool. I'm not sure that we're on the same page of what that means. Excellent. Uh, yeah, so if you give Delphi something to do, she will help you. So if you want her to help you spread it, yeah, she, just... she can. To start with, she was just watching you and, and kind of marveling. Uh... Yeah, Delphi, grab a bag and just kind of drag it down the hallway if you don't mind. Oh, but, but, but won't I leave tracks in it? I mean, just pull it from the other side and then you won't leave tracks. Just grab this corner and help me pull. You, you see her trying to puzzle the math out in her head. Um, so she's you guys... obviously never like mopped herself into a corner. <laughs> I don't know that she's ever mopped before. Yeah, quite possibly. Uh, you guys are uh, setting about doing that. And Flynn... Since you had something important to say, <laughs> we're going to bring back downstairs to you guys. Now, what were you saying that I cut you off so you don't um, even know, do you? I no, I remember. I just got to work into making it work. Um. <laughs> <laughs> so you had, you had telepathically asked her if they had been Beating her. her, yes, and she said, she nodded. She nodded yes. Yeah, very, um, very subtly. Mm -hmm. Um. So, basically, I want to get everybody into the guards' room mm -hmm. now. Um, and then as I do that, I kind of want to like signal her to Zelvana, so that she's just like on Zelvana right now. Okay. Like you, you know how Delphi is usually positioned with Zelvana, like right, like right mm -hmm. over here by. That's where I want her to be. That's where you want. Um, um, uh, NL. NL, yes. Okay. She will uh, cautiously move over, and you see uh, Valen just kind of like pouring through stuff, and 
she she finally seems to find uh, the bag that she's looking for. Um, Luca, why don't you make me a perception roll? And you could make it with advantage because I'm sure you can smell your own stuff. Yeah. Clip it. Um. <laughs> <laughs> uh, that oh, yeah. That would be a dirty 20. Absolutely. Yeah. So you, you see that, that kind of in the little cubby next to where she found her bag is, is all of your, your stuff as well. Then I'm going to go straight to my stuff. I'm going to pull out my smoking pipe, kind of pack it up a little bit, light it, start smoking, and then just strap all of my shit onto myself because I'm done smelling shit and would rather smell something else at this point in time. And smoking will do it. <laughs> okay. So, so Flynn, everybody, oops, Flynn, everyone has has come out and this guy's trying to trying to get the the gist of what you're saying again. So so I I unlock this unlock and this. Put them all back in jail in there in a room that has an exit. I don't like the way you said that, but yes, because you and the other guards will be manning that exit. Right? There's a locked door there. There's people behind you that you're going to that you're going to protect. And then there's mm -hmm. a way out there that you're going to keep an eye on. So anything that comes through there, you're going to act on it first. Okay. Unless it's us, in which case, don't hit us. Uh, uh, all, all, all of you or, or just you two? Just me. Again, remember, just... Flynn, you're working with mercs here. They, these are not soldiers. Oh, I, I'm, I'm aware. I'm about, to, I'm about to make it worth his while. Um, Luca and Flynn... Give me a uh, perception check, and this is a uh, this is not a smell one, Lucas. So this is okay. That's all right. That's a, still a dirty twenty for Luca. Oh yeah. Uh, fifteen on the die. Two. I'm away from this shit. I can do better. Seventeen. So you all hear, especially Flynn. You hear a very familiar kind of scraping picking banging sound from where uh it is coming from hold on let me zoom out before you ping it it's coming from over into this guard's room and and, and even this this guy here is talking and is like what the hell is <clears throat> is somebody in the interrogation room? I don't know. I don't, um, I don't think so. I changed my mind. Get them out. Get them out now. <laughs> um, you change your mind more than a woman does. <laughs> uh, sorry. I told you I wouldn't stab you in the back. I never told you I wasn't gonna have zingers. Uh, okay. Okay. Uh, the the older woman will come just right up on you and. So, what the hell does that mean? That means I haven't changed my mind yet. No, no, that means I don't want everyone. She, no, going she's in there. she she's confronting Luca on his. Uh, ah, okay. Ah, okay. His, his men men rule the world. Uh, <laughs> comment there. There's uh, always exceptions to the rules, and you seem to be an exception. So, by all means, make your own personal decisions. I don't care. My comment was aimed at him, not you. The uh, the sound continues, continues, and then kind of there's that kind of familiar banging, crumbling rock noise. Can my and keys open this door? They will. I'm gonna open the door. <laughs> but I'm not gonna let you do that just yet. I'm gonna okay. I'm gonna allow you a moment to think about what you want to do. Okay. Uh, okay. because the bursting open is the door to what you heard them call the interrogation room. And you see just a whole mess of shit in there. <laughs> and they are, they are immediately on that guy. So um, while you think about what's going to go on there, oh, I feel so bad. I'm going to switch back up to the first floor. <laughs> He knew what he signed up for. Don't worry about it. Uh, <laughs> did he? <laughs> uh, 
Um, all right, He's Professor. He's a nice one, Dale. So I don't know. You, uh, you, and Delphina have have successfully sullied the uh, the entirety of this hallway, and except for a few moments where you caught her kind of doing some drawing in it, and you admonished her, um, it's been seemingly pretty successful. Um, right, right, right. Um, I'm looking for... I'm going to try to reach out to Flynn telepathically. Well, of course you are. Uh, nope, just kidding. I have to be able to see them within 30 feet. Um... It's a foot of stone stops it anyway, and there's probably a foot of stone on the floor, so. Yeah, but I it has to be. I have to have sight line to him. Okay. Um, shoot, uh, Delphi, up or down, up or down. Well, uh, Fl Flynn and Zalvana usually handle things well. Uh, should should we check on on the, on the captain? Yes, let's do that. Uh, Crufiel, and I'll snap and pop him out. Mm, yeah, yes, yes, master. Yes, uh, I'm heading upstairs. Can you go downstairs and check on Flynn? Mm, uh, yes, absolutely. It would, it would be my pleasure, master. Uh, um, uh, yep. Which way is downstairs? Uh, uh, Flynn is downstairs. I believe it's just in that other room. If you head to your left, I believe there is there was a staircase that direction. Yes. Not that anyone on the stream can see it because I hadn't realigned the map. Oh. Uh, uh, yes. And he will go and it's just, again, kind of like smash into the double doors a couple of the times. And you see he's trying to give it kind of a shoulder to. Oh. Mm. Uh, Kru... mm. Do you need help, Krufiel? Uh, y yes, Master, if, if, if you please. And so Delfina will run over and open the door for him. The door opens and Celia is back at her desk speaking with someone and maybe talking shit about you a little bit. Probably. Um, Crufio will fly through and she'll give just a little bit of a scream and he will start to try to be cordial to her and Delfina shuts the door so you don't really hear kind of what goes on there and he will head, he will find these stairs and head down toward Flynn and Zalvana. Cool. Now I should be able to telepathically speak to Crufio. Uh, you will, yes. Is it your intent okay. to wait till they get down there, or are you guys going to go ahead and head upstairs? No, we're going to start heading upstairs. Okay. So I'm going uh, to head through this doorway if I can. Yeah, are you guys kind of like, imagine you tiptoeing in the uh, in the flower, and then you using yeah, your mage trying, hand to, yeah, trying to spread not it to, back out? <laughs> <laughs> trying not to disturb it as much as possible. Okay. So you uh I'm gonna pull you guys. You just pull yourself onto here. I'll we'll just say that Delphina's always tagging you unless it's a thing. And so you see uh Imdra uh kind of they're they're all talking up here. She is with uh are you yeah. on a different map than I am? I am. Did I not move you over? God no. damn it. There we go. P-R-O professional, everyone. Um, and so you should, the, the middle. Where do, just in the middle? Middle is open. The there middle looked like a. Oh, well, you, I'm, I'm sorry. So the, the stairs, this that's open to the statue downstairs. Okay. Yeah. That's what that statue is. But you see uh, Imdra, and she's here with uh, Miat Shield and Guard from last week, and they're yes, <laughs> they're talking to uh, this guard, this guard here. And so you would actually be okay. coming up the stairs, kind of hereish. Right there. Okay. Yeah, uh, uh, but, Professor, is something wrong? What's? Uh, no, we have uh, made sure that any uh, invisible creatures will. Be sure to leave tracks, and uh, I figured we should come up here and and check out the speaker with you. Good, good. Um, you can see across the way that 
this gentleman here has just, uh, he's just left this door and is walking along toward you all, just kind of shaking his head. Who is that? Mm -hmm. Oh, uh, that's, that's, that's Pete. Pete looks up. I, I don't know why you would say, oh yeah, bring me that stuff as soon as you get it. Cause it's really important and you got to stay late and get it done. And then when I get it done and bring it up there, he's in a meeting and he's too, too involved in the meeting to let us into the room. I, I, just, I just don't understand why anybody would be that way. And he is just, he's still walking as he's griping. And uh, 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 pardon me. Uh, 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 and is, unless you want him is going to make his way downstairs. Uh, yes, I'm sorry. Um, Pete, did you say your name was? Yes. yes, yes. Yes, hello, I'm Pete. Hi. Yes. He, he immediately uh, tries to close off the anger that he, or the frustration with the speaker. Did you just come from the speaker's office? Uh, well, I came from the 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 anteroom uh, in front of his office. The guard would not allow me access because there's some sort of high profile meeting that apparently is more high profile than these high profile reports that he wanted done late, as I admit again. Um, so, uh, yes, I, I I heard someone talking in there, but I haven't been in his office. Mm, that could be bad. Is it is it usual for the speaker to request something of high importance and then not be available when it was ready. He kind of looks around at, at who might be listening. Like, I mean, yeah, sometimes he's, he's just kind of a dick. But you I'm sure no he has important thinking better of what he said. I'm sure he has important reasons for, for that. But you have no idea who he was meeting with? Uh, no, that is information that we are not privy to. I, I think right, I heard a woman's voice, but... Uh, then we might not be too late. Uh, could you could you take me back there, actually? Um, and he'll he'll point to the door that he just came out of. And I mean, that's that's the door to the waiting room. And there's a guard in there and... Yes. See if you uh, have any better luck than I. I'm sorry, I should have explained. Uh, we believe that the town hall is under attack and that the speaker might be in imminent danger. And we know that some of the attackers arrived shortly before we did. And so if he has just begun a meeting, it is possible that they have reached him already. Mm. If he were under attack, I feel like I would hear screaming, yelling, chairs banging around and stuff. Um, Perhaps he is worth more to them alive than dead. At least he's worth them to someone. And then he's going to head on down. And you see him on the first floor. Jumps through over here. the railing. No, no, no. He, he, he <laughs> goes down and, and you see him walking through. And he gets to the double doors and you hear, God damn it. Where'd all this goddamn flower come from? Stop making tracks. <laughs> All right, I'm going to rush to this double door. So you have to go around the way he came. Oh, oh unless, you're gonna, way. unless you're going to hop the rail. And I would love no. for the professor to make some math, some acrobatics or some athletics. So I have to go around the south way. Counter Correct. Wise. Yeah, so these these guys are all kind of in motion. Are you going to kind of bump, bumble your way through them? Uh, No, if I can get one of them to open that door, that'd be great. Yeah, the I Imdra was directing them to do that. Were was already directing them okay. to do that. Well, then I will allow Imdra to lead the way. Yeah, you see a couple of doors. So there's a pair of double doors here that lead to the south. There's a single door that leads seemingly to the east. Uh, but they're all they're all shut. Um, and so okay. we'll get we'll get here to this door, and you're like. Whew. Okay, we're ready. We're ready. They've got their short sword out and just like getting into the mode. Are you out um, of breath? And Imdra's yeah. like, Professor, leave this to us. Okay, you ready? Okay. Yeah, I'm ready. Right, right. One, two, three. And on, whoops, uh, 
Uh, sorry, I turned reveal area or a uh, hide area not on instead of uh, polygon reveal. Uh, they're gonna kick in this door. Boom! And they're gonna they're gonna rush in. And there's one guard standing there. What the fuck is going on? Have you guys never been inside before? Uh, quickly before it's too late, we must see the speaker. He is in imminent danger. Yeah, let me check the log books. Uh, crazy no old time for crazy, log books. Crazy old man and his crew are not on the on the the book for admittance tonight. Sorry. These are your guards. Mm, mm hmm. Yeah, crazy old man and his crew are still not on the guard books. Even is though they're putting already... on chapstick. <laughs> no, that was <laughs> that was that was me. But that actually would have been like super dope. <laughs> Retcon, retcon. He pulls out his chapstick and he's like, mm, "No, bitch, mm. you're not on the list." Burt's Bees, sponsor us. Um, yeah, and he's he is not shaken by you. Uh, Indra uh, will try the same. She will come up to him, and she will run her her thick intimidation ploy on him. And he's not having it. Uh, you can tell he, uh, of all the guards, this one actually seems like he's a little more disciplined than the others, which might make sense. Actually, uh, Professor, he's a lot like the one at the Luskin Arms. Okay. And that he, the others are kind of blasé, but the one guarding the speaker's room at the Luskin Arms and the one guarding his office here seem to be the two that have the best discipline that you have seen. Oh, Rodney, I wish you wanted to say something. I wish I, I wish I knew what it was. You were it's, on it. You, you were like, oh, I'm not, I'm not there. Damn. It's, it's fine. It's fine. Professor can handle it. Um. Tell you what, why don't you guys have a drink, sit down. Tell me what's going on. And then you still won't be able to get in, but at least then I can give him a coherent story of why right, I I'm had gonna, to put four of you in jail. I'm going to try something. So I'm going to do a couple things all at the same time. Uh, oh, oh, are you now? Uh, the gonna... Ryan Zarecki story. Yes. I'm going to do six <laughs> actions in the span of one action. Yep. So I'm going to cast a uh, minor illusion to make the sound of my own voice coming from behind him. Mm -hmm. um, while I also then cast thaumaturgy to make my own voice like boom, like loudly throughout the room. And at the same time, I will communicate telepathically directly into his mind. So he's just hearing my voice echoing and reverberating like okay. three I, different times. I, I, I like what you're doing with it. And the, the fact that even though it's three things, it's, all, it's the same thing three different ways. Uh, what yeah. would you like to try to, to intimate to him? What are you trying to say to him? I'm just going to like scream into his mind that the speaker is in danger and you need to move now. And I will like step forward. And as I do like the tentacle, like, like writhes out of my sleeve. Okay. And, uh, now make an intimidation check with advantage. Yeah. We're going to, we're going to try the intimidation route. It, uh, it was good until the tentacle slipped out and then it was awesome. <laughs> Somebody clip that, please. <laughs> yes. Uh, let's see. Intimidation plus four is eighteen. Does that beat an eight? <laughs> it might. <laughs> Even uh, disadvantage, I beat an eight. <laughs> yeah. Okay. So he, uh, in kind of hearing all of that, he. Um, he he drops drops his fucking spear to the ground and reaches up and grabs his ears and he's he's looking all around and is totally then sees you and is just wigged out and backs himself up into the corner 
And still with a booming voice, I'm say, Indra, the door! Oh, man, this is where it gets so good. Um, Indra comes up just and Guard and Miat Shield are right on his tail, right on her tail. <clears throat> and she shoulders the door open. You get my reveal tool out. And it's him like eating lunch with his secretary. <laughs> <laughs> she shoulders the door open. And that is what you can see at the moment while we switch downstairs. Oh, darn it, you. <laughs> to Flynn and Co. So uh, you had a plan to put them in the kind of the guards break area there. And you were just about to enact that. You heard some some picking and some digging and the door to the interrogation room bursts open and out pour what seems so far like a clown car of Durgar. Uh, a clown car of Durgar. Clown <laughs> car. The title of the episode. <laughs> clown car. <laughs> Of Durgar. Oh my god. Um, tell me what you would like to do. This guy, um, uh, at, 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 on, on hearing your, your open the door and then seeing all that, has rushed to the door and is, is shaky-handed trying to get his key into the lock to open it, because that's the last command he heard from you, and he sees uh, his friend here with, uh, if you remember from last time, um, one of these guys. It, yeah. It's the same size, but it, it does not have a Durgar rider. It's the same size, but it, it, if you could put, you can't put your finger on it, but something about this one looks meaner than the last one. Uh, is it a spider? Is that what this is? It's, it looks more like a tick to me. <laughs> it, it has all of those kinds of properties. That is not what its name is, but uh, it it's it is some sort of it's giant also very concerning insect. that they could get to the size that a Dorgar could ride them like that. That's that's very unsettling, and I do not like it. <laughs> Z for the win with ah, you're so good. Flip. <laughs> Z for the win. Um. Ah, so okay. this guy here is is trying to. He he is shaking. He has never seen anything like this, and is trying to get his key into the lock, but is having hey, a hard time with hey, it. Hey, look at me. Look at me. Just look at me. Uh, All right. Just yeah, breathe. Yeah. Yeah, you said to open the door, and and, uh -huh. and, and that's uh -huh. he's getting. Uh -huh. Oh God, his face! No, look, no, 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 no! Look at you! Look at me! Look at me! Look at me! Uh -huh. Look uh -huh. at me! Look yeah. at me! Just put the key in the lock. Just put the key, just put the key in the lock. Okay. Turn it. And then open the door. Okay. So you for real want him to unlock and open that door still? Yep. Um, because you know how I'm gonna do. <laughs> <laughs> have do I remember? have I equipped all my stuff? Yes, uh, you you have you. Uh, do you remember earlier when I said, "Yeah, if you guys go down this one path, I totally have it." But if you side shoot, I don't know what's going on. Um, <laughs> what? <laughs> we in improv territory now, y'all. Oh no! <laughs> Wait, how is this okay. not going to happen? I don't understand. <laughs> You had a locked door between you and the Durgar clown car, and you could have just gone upstairs. Yeah. And Flynn just had the guard open uh -huh. the door. Yep. Um, I know what I'm doing. Uh, I, I know it might, do it might you, be the last thing I do. Do you? I know what I'm doing. <laughs> um, it was a great night seeing you all. <laughs> Thanks for joining us. Last there. time we see Luca. Yeah. Uh, Upon seeing that, the, the uh, Valin will, the, the older lady will yell at the three girls to get the hell upstairs. And she will kind of like grab and push 
and you see them beginning to head up the stairs toward where you know the drunk tank is. And uh, they're not out this round, but they will be out soon. Um, we're, we're not going to roll initiative just yet. Uh huh. I want to see Flynn's I got a plan plan. And then we'll we'll see where the initiative comes into. I, mm-hmm. it, it's <laughs> um okay. Uh, so uh, Granny Goodness and Luca are still over here, right? Yeah. Um, I'm gonna look at them. Ten gold each. You dance in there with me. Ten gold per head, maybe. Ten gold, Luca. Yours. You come in here, you do the dance, we walk out of it. It's ten gold yours. If we make it out alive. We make it out alive. I can't pay a dead man. Well, you can pay you put him on the eyes, but uh it goes down to a day, it it goes down to half a day. I don't stab you in the back. That's not enough. (laughs) I wish we had just a running counter. (laughs) uh, How close it was a day. Day and a half. Now it's a half a day. Uh, Valen will kind of bemused look at you. Keep your goddamn money. And she like fucking like her. She I doesn't. Like her. She does not have a weapon. I can't wait to see what she does. I cannot wait. So <laughs> she's like, like cracking her neck and getting her, getting her fucking shit on. And she's like, all right, if it's time to dance, let's dance. So, um, so like for my full intent, um, Mm -hmm, so, mm -hmm. you know, going into the initiative, I want the three of us in there. Then I want to lock the door once we get in there. Ooh, (laughs) nice. Um, I'm glad Luca doesn't know this beforehand. (laughs) (laughs) Uh, what we're going to do is we're going to roll initiative for just so have you told the guard that that that's your plan uh no i'm no okay I, yeah no, <laughs> essentially i want to pull that guard out get us in close the door and lock it and then well, so what i'm going to say is that flynn luca and valen can all roll initiative to see who acts first in this kind of micro surprise round uh, oh hold on let me get the tracker up damn it <laughs> <laughs> Uh, no, we can take that. So here we'll, yes. Uh, so yeah, just ro- ro- roll, roll it again. And then we'll ch- oh, roll it again. Then we'll change the, uh, we'll change your number to that 23. Oh, wow. There's all sorts of old shit on here. Zavana. T- <laughs> I'm sorry. Did I just bump you off of there, Flynn? Nope, you're still. No, I'm on still on there. Uh, but Luca is a twenty-three, and <laughs> Lynn's gonna come in with a three. Uh, all right, so kind of in this proto surprise round, Luca, you have the first action. If you would like, you you can hold to see what Flynn's gonna do. Well, I'm at least going to pull out my rapier mm-hmm. because ain't no use in a bow in here. And with my bonus action, mm-hmm. I'm going to cut my hand with it and activate with my bonus action, my crimson stuff mm-hmm. to give a extra 1d6 of ice damage on my rapier when I make attacks. I knew that was a funny outside. Very cool. <laughs> Very cool. And then uh, I will hold my action um, to see whatever the hell Flynn does and then move in the room behind the once peppy long stocking badass over here goes in. That's when I will go in. Okay. So then your move will probably be at the top of 
the next round. With a 23, you're probably likely to go first anyway, because you can hold an action, but you can't hold a move. Oh, shit. Um, uh, that's all right, though. That's, it, it, you've, got a, you've got a high initiative, so... Uh, then I'll just hold an action to throw a dart, if I can still draw one, at... Um, as soon as they open the door. Okay. So, I mean, it is bars. It's a barred door, like a jail cell. So you probably could throw through it if you like, but I will say that with that guard there, if you want it, he's going to probably take it in the back of the skull. Mm. <laughs> Johnny Piss Pants hasn't done me wrong today. I won't stab him in the back. He gets one more. <laughs> okay. You get one more. Flynn. Everyone gets one. <laughs> so I can't wait for... Uh... Velian to go in before me? Not on this turn, no. Okay. Um because I don't want it, I just I just don't want to have the door just like open to be open, right? Um, I'm with you. I wanted her to win the initiative as well, but she just <laughs> she's not fast. Um I will I'm gonna walk into pull both rapiers out and I'm going to step into here um with enough room for everyone else to get into there and then um as I'm walking past the guard uh tele te telepathically I'm going to say once the three of us are in there lock it and he'll just look at you and shake his head um We'll say that he has moved over just a little bit to let you guys in. Um, give me just one second here. Um, if you can imagine, there are several things to get ready here. <laughs> Why, buddy? <laughs> ah! uh, because this is all the greatest. Uh, okay, and so Valen, she will actually step in. Hold on, let me open the rest of this room up. She'll actually step in all the way, but clear the door. Um... Damn you, reveal tool. So she'll step in all the way. And she will raise her hand up and point toward that room. You'll hear her utter something. And then... Oops. So many tools in roll 20. Um you hear just a kind of a, a faint and then suddenly fireball and she's going to loose she's going to loose a fireball in Ooh. there um and she's actually going to cast it up just a little bit I don't know why she needs to find her shit. She doesn't need to use it. Components. <laughs> components, man. There components in there. Mm. Oh, man, this is a lot of damage. It's hard to smell guano when you smell from the porta potty all day. <laughs> yeah, <that's true. laughs> 23. Okay, so let's make some dex saves for my peeps in there. So this is for... It's an 18, so that's a, that's a save. Uh, that is two fails. That is a fail. And 
And that is a fail. All right, so some of these take several points of damage. Some of them don't take as much. Uh, yeah, and so she she cocks that off. I'm gonna. It's gonna take me just a second here to get these things ready. Minus. That's 11 there. Uh, th <laughs> these two Durgar up front, you can tell they look a little bit lit up. <laughs> um, they, they for sure were not expecting that. Uh, you see what looks like one of the spidery kind of things in the back go tits up. And he is... Uh, okay. Yeah, he does not look super either. So now let me roll them into the initiative. Below me, stay below me. Don't. Oh, Jesus Christ. Do we have battle music, buddy? We do. Uh, did you pay for battle music? I mean, do I have to? <laughs> you don't. Uh, I was going to play. Have, do I will? I was going to play the battle music when we got upstairs, but if you want to oh, hear okay. it now, we can hear it now. I mean, it's, no, it's I just, parents. <laughs> man, there's, there's just a lot of stuff, a lot of I stuff know. going on. All right. So, uh, Valin is in the room. Flynn is in the room. Luca, it is you on deck. All right. Uh, and since everybody was in my way, I could not throw a my dart. So, oh, um, uh, you know, I, I forgot that you had held that action. Um, you can pick a target, and we'll say that you can slip it past Flynn and Valen. If you roll a one, we'll see which one of them might take it as a hit. Okay, I will aim for the big spider thing here, the very front that's attacking mm -hmm. a dude. Yeah. Um, let's see here. We got a 18. Uh, ooh, dude, it just, just skitters off of the... Oh, wait, I'm sorry. You said 18, 18, 18. Yes. yes, I'm sorry. That is a hit. Please roll damage. I was like, Shit. oh, we're in trouble. Jesus. I was going to say, I we're dead. We're no, dead. no, 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 no. You know, you're fine. You're fine. You just, shh, yeah. shh, 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 you're fine. You're fine. All right. Then 1d4 plus 4. I got an 8. Minus 8. Uh, yeah, it, it kind of screams in pain a little bit and then goes back to munching on that guy's throat and face region. And he's... He's trying to scream, but it's just kind of some wet gurgles. All right, then I'm going to come into the room. Come there. And then okay. with my action, I'll replace, I'll make the attack to action with one of them. I am going to make my little hand signs and have a five foot wide, 30 foot long ice wind just hit all of these guys. Uh, deck save 14. If they fail, uh, all right, full the damage. The spider passes. The first Durgar fails. The second Durgar fails, and if it's only a five-foot line, I don't think this guy is in in the the line of it because you're shooting it through a door. Mm -hmm. Uh, so please roll the damage for that. I got seven damage for that. Seven damage. Okay. Um, and half the, they succeeded. Right. 
uh, the the spider thing it takes it and, and shakes it off a little bit. Uh, for these two gentlemen, though, why don't you tell me what it looks like when your your line of your spell, line of frost, or whatever? Why don't you tell me what it looks like when it just fucking wrecks them? When it wrecks them, they just get frozen in place and then slowly like ice cracks form because they're so cold and then they just shatter to the ground. Terminator 2 style. Seen dig it. Before. Glad it's on our side this time. Dig it, dig and, it, dig it. And then with my second attack, I will use my rapier to try and skewer the spider thingy. Okay. Make an attack. That That's a, a 24. 24 hits for sure. All right, so... Normal damage is a seven, and then the extra damage would be. Do, 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 where'd you go? Come on. Oh, it was a it was a one. It was one cold damage. Well, I will tell you that eight points is exactly what it needed. So why don't you tell me what that looks like? Oh my god! Remember, it uh, just got rolled up on with a, a level four right. fireball too. So yeah, <laughs> I'm just gonna skewer it straight through its head and try and like dismember it from the rest of its thorax and body, basically. Sure. Yeah, you could do that. And and in separating it, the the head and face and teeth are still kind of buried into. Uh, into into this guy who you're not a doctor but he does not seem long for this world 10 gold for that huh <laughs> <laughs> is that the end of your turn yes that's the end of my turn that's all my actions all right so the three women will can finish escaping uh, you hear the door behind you right here slam shut and the, the the guy is there turning the key to lock and he's looking at all of you like teary eyed like Flynn, he can't believe that you have been asked to be put in the, in the death locker. I don't know that he has quite picked up on what has happened uh, in the room so far. Uh, Johnny, Johnny, why are you closing the door, Johnny? <laughs> Johnny, <laughs> uh, um, it's, I love you. <laughs> You're losing a day, Johnny. <laughs> All right. Dead, dead, Flynn. So you can see at the, you can see at the back of your sight, there is at least one back here. Um, yeah, uh. Like, Flynn is, like, like not fully prepared to, like, face his death. He's like, all right, this is a no-win situation. Oh, oh, okay. Tables have definitely turned. All right. Well, I talked a big game. Now I got to show people <laughs> I'm here for it. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, 35 feet? Okay. It's also, um, remember, there's a big-ass hole there, too, so. True. Um, I will run up to... Uh, the, the little the, the space right up here. Okay. Um. And he's the last one there, or can I not see the rest of? The... I'm getting it open for you right okay, now. Okay. Okay. Uh, he's the only other one in there. They, you the the hole is dark, so you can't see down there, but you don't hear any other. You know, you don't hear any any Durgar mutterings or any other of the pick noise or the scrabbly insect noise or anything. Um, I'm gonna yell at him. Who are you after? He's just gonna look at you and, just like before, he's gonna he's gonna reach grab for for no blade at all, and pull it out, and it will be just like made of some sort of magical energy and he will just kind of flourish it at you. God, I gotta learn that trick. Ha. Ha. I, uh, I'm gonna take the dodge action. 
Okay. Yeah. <laughs> uh, anything else for you? Um. Yeah. No, actually, no. Uh, that's gonna be it. Um, because I don't think I have anything like. Yeah. No, that's gonna be it. Okay. Gonna hold up here, swords out with the dodge, dodge with the dodge action. I mean, I know you take the dodge, but unfortunately, he does not know that you take the dodge. Oh, I, so. I know, I know. Um, but you should five, know ten. so your rolls can act accordingly. <laughs> so he's gonna come around, like skirt the edge of the hole, and he is going to make an attack on you. Oh, this this is a good one. Is it at disadvantage because I'm taking the dodge action? <laughs> you know what? It's actually the same number. Oh, uh, it would be. Uh, it's a 13 to hit. Woo! <laughs> oh, man. Woo! <laughs> uh, so that misses, I'm I'm assuming. Yes. All right. Swords it's... out. I got a seven. Uh, my AC is 17. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I figured as much. Uh, he rolled an eight, and then he rolled an eight again. <laughs> um, and so with that, and with his quickly diminishing pool of hit points, he is going to attempt to just step backwards into the hole to disappear. Oh, give, me a, give me a good, good. You get an AO on him, though. Come on. Come on, give me something good. Oh, it's 13. Oh, man, he, the the tip of your rapier just, just kind of glides across the front of his armor. And he looks down and then looks up at you and laughs. And then is down the hole. I don't like that. Um, well... That was fun. I should have, man, I should have taken you up on that tin gold. Uh, I could have, if I could sell all my spell slots for gold. Uh, what's next? <laughs> what's next? Uh, uh, we're we're gonna go upstairs and see if the speaker's um safe. Um, now, hold why? On, hold on. Wait, hold on. Why? Uh, hold on. Yeah, I, first off, I'm with her on this one. Second off, really tin. Three of them. Three of them. Ten gold. Come on. Look, I softened them up and set them on fire. You just put them out with a cold breath. Yeah, don't you understand the laws of thermodynamics? If something gets super hot and then you freeze it, of course it's going to fucking break and die. Uh, can I behead one of the Durgar? Sure. So I can take, sure. take with me. Yeah, let's go. Oh, Shock. yeah. You... <laughs> um, actually, you can't because they shattered into icy bits. You hey. can you can take the uh, the spider head. You can pry it from that guy's. I mean, he's pretty much bled out now, so okay. it's not like it's hurting him anymore. Oh, I'm sorry. Um, and he 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 gives you oh. kind of like a half thumbs up. I I'm and so then, sorry. I'm not the healer one. I can't. I can put some pressure on it. <laughs> just uh, just, just guy, leave him be. Leave him this, be. I'm gonna this, close his eyes. This guy here is like. To sleep. Having a sandwich, he's like, "What the fuck?" Time for you to find a new job. That's what. Um. Right. Yeah. Yeah. And, and he uh, he will walk over and he's like, "Open this door. I'm going to find a new goddamn job." <laughs> yeah, Johnny. Open up the door. And so he's taking several different orders, and he he looks at you, Flynn. Um, as he looks at me, and I'm gonna have like the the arm, the the head of the the spider thing in one arm. Uh, mm -hmm. I am in my pouch. Um, uh, I put twenty gold into uh, Villian's hand. I put twenty gold into Lucas' hand. Um, Ooh. I'm like, open up. Um, we gotta we, we gotta secure the whole building. Uh, y yes, yes. So he'll start opening the door. What? Why? Are you saving the speaker? Why do you think these things are here? To kill the speed. Look, I've, this is the first. Look, this is the not the first time I've had to deal with the Durgar attack 
on a speaker house. What I'm trying to do is I is keep the speaker from being replaced by someone who's arguably worse. Now I know I just got here and if push comes to, we'll figure out, I'll figure out what the speaker's position is and then we'll deal, burn that bridge when we come to it. How many old ladies have you seen put in jail? What's your name? Big man Flynn. in charge? Flynn, how many old ladies have you seen put in jail? Very few. The number has risen since I've gotten to Windale. So, why do you think I'm here? You didn't pay for the soup? <sighs> Fuck. And she'll spit when you say that. No. Let's just say maybe I saw and heard some things that I shouldn't have. And maybe let's just say those things had to do with the speaker and maybe things that are in this room and maybe they put me in this fucking hole to rot maybe my name's at the top of the list for the sacrifice tomorrow in the random lottery you're you oh you're the one i'm fucking looking for okay um fine we'll talk after i still need i've got people working with working the rest of this building you can come up if you want to but please find me after i want to talk to you is that why they locked me up for curfew breaking and didn't let me go the next morning? She's going to look at you and, and mimicking you from early. She's going to go. Yeah, that and <laughs> other things. They put all sorts. Open this door. They put all sorts of undesirables in here so that folks that pay properly for the privilege of not being chosen uh, have someone to go in their stead. Mm, fair enough. Fucking society, whatever. I'm going to pull out my dart from the, the, the spider thingy. Okay. And as I pass Johnny, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Stab Johnny. I'm going to keep my promise and I'm going to stab him. <sighs> God, God damn it. I can wait to like after everything is done. <laughs> Are you stabbing to kill or just on principle? Just on principle. So, okay. you know, please, please it's... make it, please make an attack roll. Please make right. an attack roll with advantage because oh, he thinks that you guys are all, all cool in the gang. And since I'm not throwing it, I won't get my plus two. Oh my God. So there's the first one. There's the second. 13. A 13 hits. God oh, damn. Johnny. Johnny, Johnny, Johnny. Oh, God. Eight. Okay. And he's like, ah, God, what the hell? Man, I, I just did, he told me to close the door. And so I closed the door. That's It's not my fault, man. He, he, said, I, he said he was in charge. I did tell him to close the door. Johnny, I apologize then. Flynn, get over here. You have to catch me. <laughs> You've lost your half a day now. I'll give you 10 gold back. <laughs> uh, so what's the plan? You guys are going to head upstairs and then try um, to find the rest of your party, Flynn? That's my goal. Um, mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, with the, with my, with my, uh, Insect head, essentially my hall pass to be like anyone who's like, Mer, what's going on here? I just be like, this was downstairs. It's fresh. Okay. We downstairs to see the rest of it. Okay, fair point. Uh, yeah, and so to see what's going on, Valen will follow you. Uh, Luca, are you gonna follow as well? Mm. That social contract thing about playing a game. I gotta go upstairs. He paid me 20 gold when he said 10. I'll follow through. <laughs> Plus, I still uh, need a, I still got to stab him. And I'm not going to stab him until <laughs> we've killed everything. Johnny wasn't fighting, so fuck Johnny right now. But <laughs> I need Flynn in at least decent condition. All right, fair enough. So you guys transition upstairs. Well, and that is there all this flower. <laughs> Oops, and definitely. that's where we're going to take our break for the evening. I'm not going to. Welcome back, everyone. <laughs> <laughs>
<laughs> How to make your live stream look great on YouTube. Woo! Woo! Okay. Flower all over the first floor. Basement. Durgar clown car. Uh, Luca and Valin rolled up hard. Flynn didn't really even get a shot off on anyone. Uh, Not really. You, uh, there are if, worse problems to have. Absolutely. Sure. Absolutely. So, Flynn, you know, as you're um, headed upstairs with everyone, you notice uh, that uh, Krufiel had been down and kind of seen what was going on, and, and he has headed back up the stairs with you all. Where we transition to that already in progress. So you guys are in the... Um, the drunk tank area, you can see that the the women had already, the, the three girls that were already, that were in the cells had already run up and um, seemed to be getting a little bit of attention at the front desk and the, the one who was, who has been beaten pretty badly there, they're attending to her and Celia looks over to you. Uh, what have you done to her? Your guards did that. I did this. I didn't do that. She, they, these two did this, but this is the, why I went down there. What, what is the, what is happening in Targos? A lot. Your speaker is either in danger or the cause of this. He's the cause. You hear Valen in the back. Uh, oh, that's you. That's, she'll kind of come through and just survey Survey everything. So, uh, yeah. I heard him talking to our, our new friends, let's say. I got nicked. I got put in the cells downstairs. And from what I hear, these three, and he points to uh, the three women who you rescued, Best I can tell, Speaker's trying to set up a, uh, well, let's just call it a house of ill repute for all of the sailors in Targos. And he's conscripting employees for that. And upon saying that, the, the, the girls will give very timid head nods, uh, and the, the tiefling will just break down in tears, crying gonna burn this place to the fucking ground yeah this dude's gotta go i'm <laughs> valen will step to the side by all means let us go ah uh, yes flynn uh the master is upstairs with 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 the captain and with delphina and uh, miat shield and guard i don't know who those two are um <laughs> <laughs> Every time Krufiel comes up, I will hold my arm out like a falconer so he can look something. <laughs> oh, yeah. Like, being having been trained by Delphina for that, uh, he will absolutely do that. Uh, it, it, uh, Luca, this is a uh, some sort of ice imp, but not made of crystalline ice. He's, he's fleshy. He's doughy. Uh, but he, he definitely is, is kind of cold and chilly. Uh, and he speaks. Um, tell the professor the Durgar business is pretty much handled. One got away and we're on our way up. Mm, uh, uh, as you wish. And he will, professor, he will telepathy that to you upstairs. Speaking yep. of that. Oh, that's good news. Why don't we see what's have a pet imp? What? I'm sorry. <laughs> Look at your uh, eyes, blood. All right. Does, no, does, calm down. Does 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 everyone not have have a pet imp? Is, is, they, is that good? Don't. No, is that no, is that bad? Is, is, okay, it's good for us. Uh, so professor, when last we left, uh, Imdra had given the door a mighty shoulder, and then I hopped us off to another map and only gave you that little tease of. I what know. you see into the room. Such a tease, buddy. <laughs> uh, but I will... I will open that up for you now. So... All right. Imdra 
bursts in. Ooh. There it goes. Um, yeah. So that's in, what I was looking in, for. Imdra bursts in. Guard is in with her. Miat Shield is waiting for you. Well, I mean, I'm moving as soon as the door's open. Yeah, it's it is open. Cool. I'm we don't have fancy things like opening doors in this game. So Miat Shield is there. So you see the speaker, and he's sitting at his desk. Uh, you see quite recognizably sitting on the corner of his desk, um, Professor Yu and Imdra would both recognize that as uh, Prudence sitting on the corner of his desk. There's a Durgar standing kind of on that, on that rug in front of his desk, kind of with his hands on the desk, and they seem to be in a heated sort of discussion. And there's one of these other Durgar um, that you have seen standing over mm -hmm. here. And then this door behind him is slightly ajar. What? Well, well. Um, come in, Sorry. I guess. Buddy, what is this little figure behind the speaker over here? Uh, that is a flying snake. Gotcha. Roll a history check for me, please, Professor. 15. You remember something about a cage for a small creature in Prudence's office in East yes. Haven, but it never had a creature in it. Though, you know that they had left the windows open for her flying pet to go to and fro, and Xander was livid when he found that out. Well, I... Uh, Come in, I guess. Uh, Captain Imdra, I believe. And I'm sorry, I, I, I don't know who you are, sir. S speaker, what? Your, what is the meaning of this? He will look at Prudence and then look back at you with, with a smirk on his face. Now, I... I do believe that's reserved for someone whose office this is. And last time I looked, and he'll kind of rifle around on the desk, and he'll pull one of those little name plaques up. Let's say, last time I checked, it says Speaker Maxeldanar, not, I'm sorry, what's your name? I'm just going to, like, telepathically slap that thing out of his hand. <laughs> and say, this is no time for games, speaker. And Explain he's, yourself. He is he is going to, he, he has been kind of jovially back in his chair, and he will sit forward, and he will look into your heart, and he will say, I assure you, this is no game. Uh... And I'm going to need you to make... No, I think we're. I need you to make an ins. I think. Whoa, wait. Where's that? Okay, here we go again. All right, that's, that's how double lost I am. Uh, he will try to uh, try an intimidation on that. Um, okay. So we'll resolve that, and then if if we're popping off, then I guess. I mean, we're we're else. very very close. Like it's. I would pay actual Flynn would pay actual money to hear the professor say okay we're popping off because I feel like <laughs> <laughs> the professor uh, said what? Se that's a 17 intimidation uh, versus my what? versus uh, versus insight I think generally we do my insight that's not great no that's a natural two so maybe we go one more round of talking before things as you say, pop off. Uh, you, you, Professor, House. you do, you do notice that Imdra is, she's there with her sword out, but she is just staring at Prudence, and she seems lost 
in the moment? Uh, I am going to mentally contact Guard and Meat Shield. I think I have to do them separately. And okay. just say, gentlemen, you have a choice to make. Can I count on you? And they will look at each other and they will look at you and they'll go, I don't know. I don't know. That's not promising. Uh, with the discussions, you see Speaker another. Speaker Danar. Sorry, continue. Maxel Danar. I definitely thought his first name was Maxel. Dude, it's, it's <laughs> another one of those cases where it's like, let's give them the most difficult name ever. It's Nerth Maxel Danar. It's like, why? Why? All right. Yes, All right. I'm sorry. You All haven't right. told me Nerf. who you are yet. <laughs> You're in my office making all sorts of big demands, and your captain friend seems seems quite lost in the moment. Um, is she okay? She will be. Allow me to introduce myself, Professor Wellington Smythe, at your service. He looks down at a at a book on his desk. I don't see your name in the official town lottery for the uh for the frost maiden sacrifice um mm. how 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 does that happen uh perhaps your employees are not as good as you think they are now i'm representing the harbingers and i'm afraid your business here is uh how should we put this not within the uh, the common interest. Hmm. Well, Professor, as the speaker for Targos, I think I have a little more latitude to set what is in the best interest of my town than you. And would that include uh, secret meetings with your with your friends here in? kidnapping my companions and uh, charging exorbitant prices for the one good source of food that you happen to steal from one of your neighboring towns? I mean, at, at, at any point, stop me here. if. Uh... Well, I mean, yes, there are a number of things. Uh, nothing has been stolen. It was freely given to me by the former interim speaker of East Haven, uh, former speaker Tarkwald, who generously gave that to Targos. Um, it's not the only source. It's just not fish. We have a lot of fish here. You can see there's a lake. And um, I'm sorry, kidnapping some some of your, the, the heartbeats? My, Is that what you said? Who, who are you? Of the Harbingers, yes. Who are you? I believe I've already introduced myself. No, I mean, if, who are, if who are these enough. harbingers and your friends? I, I'm, I am sorry, but you do, do not even rate to the level of, of, of my Durgar friend here, who, uh, that's, that's kind of saying something. It's, oh, oh, sh shut up. You know, you know what I mean. If you haven't heard of us by now, then that's no, uh, no fault of ours. But I assure you, you or at least those that you work for, We'll know of us soon. Prudence. Yeah. Prudence at that. Who has been kind of like eye locked with Imdra. She says, Speaker, you know that I've, I've told you of them. These are the saviors of East Haven who fought off the Durgar attack and the, uh, the drow attack that happened there. And they are, they're definitely a spectacle to behold. Saved my life on a couple of different occasions. And they both chuckle at that. Against our better judgment, yes. Mm -hmm. Hmm. Well. I'm afraid our suspicions prudence could not be proven before it was too late. Yes, it wouldn't have been 
prudence to uh <laughs> how uh, no one you, no one that, it's like like fucking yes. no one laughs like the snake doesn't like flap its wings nerth doesn't laugh the durgar doesn't laugh she has to shut her own self down pretty hard on that <laughs> um gods you're insufferable the uh I, I will say that right about now or maybe just a little pre to this is when you would have gotten the message from Krufiel that uh there there had been Durgar on the basement and that Flynn and some newfound friends had cleaned that up <clears throat> and they are heading to your location directly. Excellent. Uh well, speaker, uh, the Durgar slams his hands on the desk and he leans in and he's kind of whispering to Nerth um, to, to hear what he's saying. You'd have to get a little closer. Yeah, let's if I'm going to try to either read his lips or or figure out. He's looking he's away from you, uh, okay. but yeah. So you can move there. I'll take and, a step forward. Yeah, so you you he hear... said being baited easily by the DM into fireball range. <laughs> Dead. Um you you hear something you've never heard in a Durgar, which is a very broken English. You have never heard a Durgar speak English. Um, but it's a very broken Zoe's just learning it. Um we we need it. You said you would give it to us. Now hold up your, 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 your piece of the bargain. Where are the crystals? Nerth, Nerth has relaxed in his chair again. He's like, everyone calm down with, with someone like a glass of wine. Let's, let's take this one thing at a time. Things don't have to go sideways. Uh, I'm going to address and, the Durgar. Flynn and, and company, I would say that by this point, you guys are probably on the stairs here. Kind of. Are you trying to stealth up Flynn and company? Or are you like full speed tromping? I mean, Flynn. You, you're muted. Flynn's muted. <laughs> He's stealthing. Uh, <laughs> um, is the door to the office open or did they close it? Uh, this door here, this yes. door is open and this door that Miat shield is in is open. You um, don't, you won't know that though. Cause you won't, be, you can't see that door until you get kind of halfway on the stairs. Then, um, then, uh, like I'm moving until I see a closed, closed door. Like I'm following crew feel up. And mm -hmm. then like, if we see like a closed, closed door, then I'll stop. Uh, not not to like barrel through it because if I think the professor's on the other side, um, I don't want to get him stabbed because he's okay. very fragile. I mean that's that's mighty mighty neighborly of you. Um, so why don't you and Luca drag yourselves on, and we'll say that you guys are kind of here at the head of the stairs. Um. And so you'll make your way kind of around this way. This is the path you're moving. And then this this is the first door into the waiting room that is open. Mm -hmm. And then you can see uh, me at shield standing in a doorway. And beyond him, if you kind of look a little bit, you'll be able to see Imdra just standing there slack jawed. Uh, how many people are coming up the stairs with us? Is it just the three of us or is it three of uh, us and like some of the town guards that are like renewed or whatever they're wanting to fucking call themselves? No, no, there ain't, there ain't nobody renewed in here. Um, it would be the three of you and uh, Zalvana, but actually Zalvana might have stayed downstairs to try to help with the three girls that had been in prison. All right. Uh, so while we're going up the stairs, I'll be like, "All right, if we're gonna if we're gonna fuck with the government, I'm gonna I'm gonna do some stuff real fast. Don't worry, I'm gonna like rub my temple real fast and like 
brush it down and cast disguise self on myself. And I look like okay. a uh, white dragonborn. Ain't nobody going to be looking for Luca if they see Rosh in there, are they? Hmm. If anybody no, no. survives, I ain't coming for Luca. Uh, uh, so. Great. <laughs> if When you live on the outskirts, you got to watch out for bunny hunters. Why do you think I always stab people when I first meet them? <laughs> when, he, when he says that, I'm going to like move a piece of like my, my cloak over so he sees the bounty hunter badge that I because <laughs> that's my that's my uh that's my my money job is i do bounty i'm like i don't care you know <laughs> you and i are gonna have words later either way um let's on go uh, and then my someone apologies. out there in the streamland please keep track of how many different ass weapons luca owes flynn <laughs> so it's up to two apparently right now i don't even uh, have a bounty on you i just I, this is not the issue right now. Uh, so my apologies, guys. Oh, there's my token. I was wondering where I was. I couldn't figure it out. So. Yeah, you hadn't dragged yourself on, so I dragged I dragged you on. And there we go. That's what I look like now. You just had that ready, okay? Mm -hmm. <laughs> no. While you were talking, I totes found it. <laughs> insight check all right so just to give everybody at home an idea of what's happening here uh they are coming up the stairs flynn has kind of made his way around and can see all the way through to where indra is uh nerth has just tried to calm calm the room down he does not have delphina's calm emotions though uh which is good for me. Now, let's, let's all have a glass of wine and chat. Professor, yes, I have been making some deals with the Durgar to try to make sure they stay out of Targos after hearing <clears throat> some of the things they had attempted in East Haven. Be that in good or bad taste is for history to decide. He turns to the Durgar. Yes, I told you that you can have the crystals, and you will get the crystals. I just... You, um... You have to hold up your end as well. Prudence. What? what Why do we not people? have any wine? What yeah. makes either of you think that the other one is going to hand, hold up their end of the bargain? Speaker... You don't look like you would know what a crystal even is. And Dorgar have already shown they cannot be trusted. They've already attacked your building. They are in this building now. And he's probably stalling so that they can make their way into this very room. Uh, this is a meeting. This does not look like an attack to me. Is everyone in this town dense? Yes, there is an attack going on. Your barracks was hit earlier tonight. Oh, my compa my companions are make, fighting for their lives. Make a this pers moment. make a persuasion check with advantage because while that is true, they did not start the things at the barracks. That was the harbingers. <laughs> Ooh, double fives for 12. <laughs> now, I had heard there were some some drinking folks. Uh, someone, and he, he gestures towards Indra, someone with an eye patch was trying to bring someone else in who was very, very drunk and happens to be in the same place where we keep the cauldron. Um, the cauldron of which you knew about that you say that I stole. So gotta say, friend, so far things are pointing to you and not my untrustworthy Durgar friend here. Well, when his group kicks this door in to take your head, don't come now, looking to us for help. You're right. That's funny because the he and he points to 
this one here. When this one kicked the... Oh, no, he actually walked through the door. It was you and your party who kicked the door into my fucking office. So again, Professor, your points all seem to be laid straight at your feet. You're making very, very good reasons that I should throw you in the lockup downstairs. You're right, because I was also stalling, stalling for time because it's it's my friends on the stairs. Uh, Flynn, Flynn. Flynn, you absolutely hear him call for you. Uh, yeah. Um, <laughs> um, I thought we okay. were going sneaky on this. I not... did. <laughs> I did too. Um, hold on. Uh, I don't. Okay. All right. Um, go, go in. Go in by yourself. No one else is here. Shush. I'm gonna walk in. I'm. I'm sorry. I just saw in the Zoom chat where Flynn says, "Can I do a stealth roll after?" The, and I saw it after the professor had called for him. <laughs> <laughs> I, apologies, apologies, Flynn. Well, that's uh, what you get for not for not for not saying all. <laughs> um, Miat Miat Shield will uh, will give way to you, and he will notice that Imdra's kind of. Out of sorts. Um, Flynn, once you get there, I'm going to take just a second. You and the professor both give me a perception check. Not good at that. Oh, boy. Okay. It's a nine. Yeah, you're not good at that. No, I'm so bad at it. Oh, that's Crit? a natty, nat 20. Yep. <laughs> so, Flynn, you see that, that Imdra is looking in, in a very kind of lost and longing way at Prudence, but... There's something else in her eyes. Um, you know that you have seen both Zalvana and Delphina oh, shit. just be talking and then just fucking disconnect and be somewhere else while they're in the room with you. She she definitely has that that otherworldly stare in her eyes. <sighs> um. Um, so can I, can I like just do like a quick message or like a quick telepathic message to, to Imdra as I you, walk into the you room? Can, you can certainly try. Um, as I like, as I'm, as I'm moving in basically next to the professor here, uh, I'll shoot, I'll say to Imdra, um, I don't know who's in there with you but they're going to help. You have to keep someone alive for questions. Uh, uh, well, uh, uh, yes. Yes, Flynn. Yes, uh, I, I am. Uh, apologies, everyone. I, I am sorry. The uh, professor, uh, you, you are right about, about some things, but the, this is a speaker for one of the Tin Towns. And no matter how we feel about things, and she will sharp cut look at Prudence, we, uh, none of us have the right to just burst into the speaker's office and accost him in the middle of a meeting that he has deemed private, no matter who it is with. And she is going to make a fucking lunge attack at the speaker. Oh, Everyone stand oh, by. Oh. Uh, she's going to make an attack with Ember. Ooh. Oh. Oh. Oh, good one. Oh, yeah. Nerith. Oh, Nerith. Uh, well, Nerith only has... Not that much armor class. Uh, yeah, so she's gonna... She's gonna put it on him. Uh, and now, friends, we are at our favorite point of the night. Roll for initiative. Holy put the tracker shit. up. Let's go. <laughs> Did it go? No, I didn't. No, it's good this time. Mm, okay. 
Ooh, that's a lot of good rolls. Would the old lady and I have moved up at yes. all? Yes, uh, abs- 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 okay. absolutely, absolutely. So many. What can I do? At least we're all in one room <laughs> again. You know what? Actually, what fits in a room this size? Fireball. Fireball. <laughs> uh, where would be a good spot for us? Like, this, uh, uh, let, let's say that you both kind of slid. Like, you know what? You can have slid into the room if you want. She's actually going to stay just on this side of the door and out of sight. Oh, I, I would have been hugging the wall, been like, all right, when's a good moment? When's a good moment? Oh, shit. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Hey, uh, buddy. Yeah, man. Uh, do I have any idea where this door goes? And is it safe to assume at all, logically, that this door connects to this door? Uh, it does not connect to this door. This is a cabinet in this room. But okay. you do remember that there was a door near where Krufiel is to the east right here. Got it. That That could be a room or a corridor that... That connects that way. Krufio could open that door. Uh, he goes on your turn, so. Uh, man, this is a lot of good rolls. Uh, all right, so. Nerth, having been. Oh, I gotta move Imdra over just one. She did kind of a desk sit shank kind of thing. Um. Ooh, fuck me. Nerith is going to... That's what he says uh, when she when she gets him. <laughs> and he's going to uh, tumble out of his chair onto the ground. Um, he's going to stand up and say, What are you waiting for? Kill them. And he's going to look at the Durgar and go, All of them. And that's what he's going to do for the moment. I wish I spoke under under dark. Is that what the dark uh, under, speak? Under common. Under common. Under, under so common. again, they yeah. they speak dwarvish and they speak under common. But, oh, you wouldn't know this, so I won't tell you. So never mind. Okay. Um, and he is going to draw his sword. Uh, Flynn. <clears throat> Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. I'm going to get it before someone says something. Um, skirmish. Hey, there it is. Going on? It's music. Uh, oh, okay. Music. <laughs> yes, now, Flynn, it is. It is you. Um. Where, where am I? Um. <laughs> it's a whole, I... me- whole mess of mess in there. And I mean, if everybody's still there, when Valen gets to that three. You know that she can cast fireball. I I do indeed. Um, what I'm going to do is uh, let's see. Um, I will move here in front of the desk. Uh, to stay within this Durgar's like reach because mm-hmm. I'm in the reach. And I think if I move out, you might. Um, mm-hmm. and I'm gonna pull out both my swords. Uh, like look the Durgar in the eye with the sword and then point mine at Prudence and then put both of my attacks on Prudence. Ooh, hell. Like, I don't I don't know if he knows the language, but I want his I want him to know that I'm like, I'm here, I'm ready to fight, but my fight is over here. Yeah, uh hold on, I don't have her character sheet pulled up. Prudence. Dark wall. Victor sheet. Uh, Okie dokie. Yeah, let's let's have it. Uh, okay, here we go. Ho ho! Ho ho ho! Hey. <laughs> let's get it. <laughs> What'd you roll? That was a crit, baby. That was a natural 20 um, <laughs> for uh, 18 points of damage. Um, 
you know what? Just just for just for flavor too, we're gonna put that um that psionic strike behind it as well. Well, of course you are. Mm-hmm. Uh, and that's one D eight plus one. Is it gonna do the thing? Yeah. Nope, that's the Oh come on. <laughs> so what's my total that she just took? Uh twenty points. Uh, non-lethal. I'd want someone breathing in this room by the time we're done. Uh, all right. And let me guess, you have a second attack. I do have you? a second attack. Yeah, I do have a second attack. <laughs> 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 yeah, yeah, that checks out. Let's, let's do it. Let's see what it is. It's a 17. That's a good one. Uh, 17 still hits. Good. No six points. Oof. Yeah, she is. She had a smirk on her face, and you have discovered the best way to wipe a smirk off some bitch's face sitting on the desk is to roll up with a crit on her, <laughs> uh, which which you did quite well. Um, what else would you like to do? Um. That is all I'm going to do for right now. Okay. Uh, yeah, I got I got nothing else. With a, an exquisite 17, the professor is next. Ooh. Um, well, Flynn has changed my plans. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, uh, do you have a sheet to tear up? <laughs> Well, he's kind of just put himself in the middle of air thing. So. That's what I do. Let's go back to the tried and true. We're going to, we're going to mine sliver. Ooh. Does the professor notice that the Flynn is striking non-lethal areas? No, he does not. <laughs> I, you know, I would say that you have seen him do that before. Okay. Um, man, let's let's just let's go after the speaker. I'm gonna I'm gonna mind sliver the speaker there. Okay. Is that a? Uh, I need a, a spell in, attack. Or is that an int save? Yep. Check it out. I don't think he's very good at those. He's not very intelligent, uh, you, you're telling me. Is that, hmm, oh. I'm super surprised. This is my hmm. surprise face. <laughs> yeah, so, what's my DC? Uh, 15. Will a four beat that? Nah, man, nah. <laughs> uh, all, all right. 11, 11 psychic damage. Uh, and he has a, a negative D4 on his next saving throw. Okay. Yeah, he is, uh, he had tumbled out of his chair and stood up and made the command and you hit him with that and he is just rocked with pain and is, is back down to his knees. Um, un, unhappy for sure. You, you for sure picked that up off of him. Cool. Uh, anything else, professor? Um... No, I'll let that be it for now. Okay. Uh, Captain Imdra is going to rage. And I'm just reading it what that does to me. Advantage on strength checks and saving throws. Plus two melee damage with strength weapons. Okay. So it's just a plus to damage. Um, and does she have two attacks yet? Attacks per action two. Yep. Oh. Uh, she is going to close in and make an attack on the speaker. with a Kraken on the die. Holy shit. It was a Kraken and an 18. Cause she's, don't worry about why, but she's rolling with advantage. Uh, no, I know. Woofta. 
So. Um. The, oh, uh, and plus two is there as well. So, well, 19 plus two is 21 plus five is 26. Um, she, um, she just, she bellows out this rage and goes in for the attack and just basically cleaves his head in twain. Ooh. Um, oh, there goes my answers. And then uh, she's going to move here to where his... Ch Can she make an attack there? I guess she's got to kind of scrabble onto the desk a little bit. Oh, no, not but the she's, she's going to make oh. an attack at disadvantage on the Durgar because she's trying to scrabble up onto the desk. And then that was double twos. So oh, thank the, okay. that, that whole like desk thing that she's trying... Not working out. She slid around in some papers and stuff. Um, Luca. All right. So let me. First things first. I'll step into the room here. Then let me see. One thing. Ready. I will. Oh man, are you gonna fucking frost toast to those guys again? No, I am going to make a mighty roar as though I sound like the T Rex from Jurassic Park and make. Let's see. Michiald, Guard, uh, both, or all three, uh, Drugar, and whoever Flynn is fighting. Prudence. Make a DC 11. Let me say wisdom saving throw or they are frightened. Okay. Uh, all right. The closest Durgar, or the, the closest one of these guys fails. So he is, you said frightened. Yes. Um, I really wish the icons we're going to give him. I don't know, on fire. Uh, it's a wisdom save. Yeah. Like the icons made Prudence. any sort of sense for Yeah, absolutely. Yes. Uh, Guard fails. Miat shield saves. So Guard. So Guard and this front. Oh, and I didn't roll for this guy. Uh, what should DC save on that 11 uh okay he passes uh so you got two better than All zero right. then with uh my bonus action mm -hmm. i'm going to run my left hand over uh my throat okay and ice will form onto my hand basically and then with the rest of my movements i let's see i went 10 there we go i shall move the rest of the way here and make a unarmed strike against him with my frost ice fist claw, iced claw basically. okay yeah <laughs> yeah so I don't know. Oh, uh, 10 to hit. 10 does and not it doesn't hit. hit. And that is my turn. Okie dokie. And now it's Prudence, who, Flynn, you just rolled up on and just took the smile right off of her face. And she's going to look back. She's going to see Nerith. She's going to Flynn look at you. And then she's going to slowly turn and look at Imdra. And you see her cock her head to the side and go, Oh. To Imdra. She's going to 
Fucking and she here. grabs her cape. Give him the mountain bag! God damn it! And she, and she pulls it around herself and you just smell the slightest whiff of brimstone and you no longer see her. Oh, that sucks. Did we already start a fire in here? What the fuck? <laughs> um, this cat in the back is going to run up on you, Luca. Uh, and he's going to make an attack on you. Okay. Uh, 16 to hit. Uh, 17. Oh, yeah. So he, he as well, as he's running over to you, pulls that uh, some sort of psychic energy or some, some sort of something kind of blade and just swings just missing you just to just to the side of you enough to make your disguise self glimmer a little bit but uh that's how close he was but unfortunately he misses you um guard is frightened uh does that mean he has to spend his turn running away from you or he just can't get closer to you he cannot get closer to me and uh, has disadvantage on ability checks and attack rolls while I am within line of sight. Okay. Because I didn't know he was one of ours. Uh, <laughs> so. I mean, are any of them really any of ours? Guard's going to run out of the goddamn room. Makes sense. Makes sense. Miat yeah, Shield that. is going to yell for Imdra. And Imdra, Imdra, what should I do? And he's actually going to move in kind of in a reinforcing position here, uh, waiting on some sort of direction. Uh, this guy is going to make an attack on you, Luca, at disadvantage. Is that right? Correct. <laughs> what if I rolled double twos? Um, he is... He's actually going to retreat... Uh, into this room. Uh, 5, 10, 15, 20, 25. And when he, when he goes through, I'm going to, I know that I will have to do a, you'll get an AO here, but when he goes through this room, Luca, you can see into it. Um, and it looks like some sort of conference room that he has, he's run away into. Uh, you get, if you would like, an opportunity attack on him. Oh, I'll, I'll take it with my ice fists and get a 12 this time around. Still does not hit. Okay. Now, the one here in the middle... Um... Man, he's just, you really kind of kind of screwed my head up a little bit there, Flynn. He, he knows that Imdra tried to gig him, but he also knows that you were maybe trying to be friends with him or not adversarial with him. Uh, and he will, he will shout something. Uh, and does anyone speak under common? No. Nope. Are you sh Oh. Ah, uh, yes, yeah, sorry. One of you does, but it's Imdra. Uh, he will shout something, and then... He will also make a run. So Imdra, um, Flynn, Imdra and Flynn get an, uh, an AO. Uh, Luca, you have already taken your reaction this round. I want to use mine uh, as my reaction, and I want to... Um... Someone's going to be mad at me for this, but I'm going to use my uh, protective f uh, field on the Durgar running out. Okay, what does that do? Uh, it be it's basically going to negate 1d6 of damage if Indra lands an attack on him. Okay. I'm so pretty sure I can use that on someone else. Uh... It's all right. She she whiffed. Okay. It, 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 we should look into that, but she whiffed anyway. She only rolled a four. Mm-hmm. Um... Valen is going to come into the room 
But what the hell is this? Everybody's all scattered about. <sighs> and... I guess she's... Let's see. 5, 10, 15. She's going to come around here to see uh, Nerith's body. And that's what she's going to do for the moment. Um, Nerith, at top of the order, is dead. Uh, Flynn, it is back to you. Um, I'm... Uh, I'm going to yell to everybody, all right, we're done. We're done. I'm going to, like, chew the last Durgar out so he can run off with the rest of his, his party. Don't let him escape. No, I can't talk to him. They tried to kill us downstairs, and now we're... I got tin gold earlier from this shit. They speak common. Um... I'll, I'll point to point to this one. Do you, can you speak common? Uh, he doesn't pay you any attention. He is focused on Luca. Luca, stand down. May uh, Flynn make a persuasion or an intimidation roll? Everyone else, uh, make an insight against his roll. Thirteen. Sixteen. Professor? I got a three. So, for the moment, Flynn's words touch your ears. Um, the two of you, you have been unsuccessful in touching the captain. You don't know that. I mean, she's raging, so... Yeah, I figured I was going to have to stand in between Imdra and whatever else is going to happen. Oh, I love it. Uh, okay. Uh, Anything else for you, sir? Um, I want, I, I'm not going to make any attack. I just, I want to try to get through to this Durgar to see if he, if he speaks common or not. Okay. What do you want to say to him? Um, uh, we'll, we'll say that you, you kind of really focus your efforts on it as your action to try to make him understand. Um, you could use your telepathy as well. I don't think it is, is hinged on language. It is. It is, is it? Yeah. The language, you know. Oh, sorry. Yeah. <laughs> um, yeah, as long as as long as as long as we share a language, um, uh, you share the language of love. <laughs> um, I guess I'm gonna like, like stow a sword. Mm -hmm. Uh, point uh and and um, I'm trying to figure out how do I how do I say like I. What did you want with him? I point to the what was the speaker. Okay. Okay, so that's your. Yeah, that's that's all. That's all I got. Um, okay. No sweat. We'll see how that how that comes when his turn gets here. If he can suss that out or not, and you say it loudly so that it can be heard. Yeah. Okay. Uh, professor. Um. Well. My telepathy does not need to share a common language. Um, but it is not a two-way communication. Okay. Um, but man, I want to reach out to the one that was talking to the speaker there. Okay. And, and just telepathically say, like, like wait the speaker is is no more sit tight and we can figure this out okay and that's a one way yes 
Hmm. Um, I would like to move also. I am going to. Ah, yes. After I say that, I'm going to. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25. I'm going to head to this door. Ooh, interesting. Just okay. Keep an eye down here. Wait, as, as you come through, Gaward goes, ah, 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 oh, it's, it's you. Uh, At ease. <laughs> now it is Imdra's turn. Uh, she is going to get off of the desk and sidle up right here. And she is going to... Can I step in front of that attack? <laughs> Are you sure you want to do that? Um, uh, <laughs> uh, so what's her plus? 14 plus. So that's yes. So that is she has absolutely hit him. Um, I know better than to get in front of a woman with a giant sword who is very angry. I mean, you know that she is raging and you saw you recognized her glaze earlier. Mm -hmm. Um, I'm gonna, uh, I'm gonna use the, well, roll a perception. Okay. We're gonna go to kind of a mid combat perception for you here. Ah, oh, shit. Would you get slim? A six. Okay. It's a, it's a tough, it's a tough nut to crack. Um, I will use the protective field on the Durgar still there. Okay. Um, I'm going to try and plead with Imdra. Uh, like, got two people still unaccounted for, and you just split the fucking head open of one of the ones that could tell us where they are. Um... She give me another perception check. Yeah, she uh, she she hits she for sure hits him with that first attack. Okay. Um so Oh oh oh, oh and, so, and so you said it's it's a D6 less, correct? Yes. So roll the D6 and tell me what to add back. Ooh, Ooh very nice. Okay. Good uh Good usage there of that. Um, yep. I don't know if I'm, keep him alive. While I'm making my second attack, roll roll another perception. That's the 20. That's the 20. She, you're not sure if she can even hear you. She, there, there seems to be like, like if you had to guess, like at the corners of her eyes, it, it is almost like there's frost. Like, it's almost like there's frost kind of leaking out of her face a little bit. Um, and she is, she's just in another, another place. Um, how many times does your shield work? Is it just the once? It's just, it's just a reaction. It's just a reaction. I can only do it okay. once. Okay. Mm. Okay. So she, he's, he's definitely still up, but she for Levi. sure, she for sure. Clobbers. Levi, mother, motherfucker, if that's you in there, I need, I need one person, Levi. Oh, come on, Flynn. You've rebuffed me so much in the past. Why? Tell me why I would do something for you. And now we're moving into Luca. <laughs> All righty, I will. So Flynn said stop, and then Imdra came up and just double tapped this guy in front of you. But with my 13, I understood he, he wants us to not kill everything. Yeah, you understood, and that's what he said. And then Imdra came up and double tapped. So you're, I would say that you can be your own person here. <laughs> uh, decisions, decisions. Well, I, I guess I'm going to come over. I'm going to come over here. Can I see through the doorway into the rest of this room? Yeah, so the two of them are are still there. Um, the uh, Just get the rest of this shadow open for you. 
Uh, other than the two of them, the room seems empty. Uh, the two of them are there. Not I, either that it's not their turn. They haven't gotten further away, or maybe maybe they have considered what Flynn is trying to do. Okay. Stab him today. Stab him tomorrow. When do I stab him? Stab him. I will come into the room and come here so he will get an attack of opportunity if he would like. He's more worried about the big bitch that's on top of him. He's going to save his reaction. Then I will use my roar again, but instead of actually roaring, I'm just going to yell very loudly at this guy in front of me. Get your fucking ass back in the room. And let's see. Uh, da, 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 da. I mean, it clearly hits him. But I'll try and hit the other one, too. What's the save other? on it? 11 wisdom. Oh, yeah, that's right. These two guys don't have any wisdom. So the guy that's frightened already doesn't matter because he's he's already affected. Correct. Correct. All right. The guy next to you. That's a 16. The guy yeah. that's in the room. That's a 19. I'm gonna let you know, guys, these cracking purple gummies. And the See, those things are rolling hot tonight. The yeah. red gummies, the red gummy, and the purple gummy, my favorite cracking dice. I use them oh. all yeah, the you, time. Do you want to go back to the dice you were using at the start of the stream? I like that. <laughs> 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 that was them. That so here's the, they roll hot and then they roll cold. They they will ice wind dale your ass in a heartbeat. All right, then I'm just gonna try and grapple them because I'm. Betting I can tell by his face because it doesn't look like the other one who's afraid of me or I need them not to leave the room. So okay. I'm a grapple. Okay. What would you like me to roll? Uh that's an athletics. Athletics are and I will do I will do an opposed athletics roll. Uh, do, do, do. Hold on, let me double check one thing real fast. I have a fifteen to oppose. And this is a strength uh, check with athletics, correct? Yes, it's an it's an athletics check. Yeah. So if you have athletics as a bonus, I do, and I have any strength stuff, any strength checks at advantage right now. So I shall roll it with advantage. There's fourteen for the first one. Well, oh shit, that it's is a fourteen either way. My bad. It's, yeah, uh, and so he has rolled a fifteen. So you. You kind of get your arms around him, and he he's able to to kind of break out. I think I'll kill you for free. I think in my head. <laughs> Love it. Anything and, else? Nope. That's my turn. I don't have anything for my bonus. Uh, this guy who just got wailed on by Emdra. Uh, he's going to give it the old college try. And that's going to be a 19 plus his, is he a plus five on this attack? Soul blade, normal size, plus five. Uh, yeah, so he absolutely is going to hit her. Did you just mumble the words normal sized? I did. What's that about? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Something I haven't been doing to you guys. Um... <laughs> Was it actually just a, a really small Durgar on top of that <laughs> spider thing? It was not. It was a regular sized one. Uh, so yes, yeah, so she's going to take... One, two, three, four, five. She gets hit for five points. Uh, and that's his only attack, unfortunately. Oh, that's um, uh, uh, Professor, you're right. Let's Let's get the hell out of here. And he's gonna he's gonna scoot past you, and get over here. Oh, I wasn't I wasn't leaving. Uh, please. Yeah. Okay. okay. Let's come on. I'll clear the way for you. This guy has, with all the commotion, has moved up. Um, Miat Shield, seeing M five ten fifteen twenty, seeing Imdra. 
go in hard. 15, 30 is actually going to move in to flanking. <sighs> and as you do, you are trying so hard. But here's the thing. These guys hit for shit. <laughs> so he is going to attack uh, two-handed with his spear. <laughs> yes, yeah, so that is going to hit... Man, you just watch both of those hit points click off. Uh, he he double hand spears him for two points of damage. He's a crow. Um, two points of damage. Frightened. Frightened Durgar. Um, he's actually going to run to the back corner of the room. And um, and kind of put his arms up against the wall, and is definitely has his eyes on you, Luca, but has realized that he cannot cross to the other door because that technically brings him closer to you. So, Professor, you mentioned painting yourself into a corner earlier. This Durgar has just done that. <laughs> um. What is your you you rolled pretty well earlier, Flynn, with your when you're trying to get them to to stop, yeah? Yeah. It was like a sixteen, I think. You're gonna hear him yell something in in what must be under common, and then behind that in again kind of a shitty guttural English, he's gonna croak out Stop! And Flynn, you actually can see this Durgar kind of turn to look at him. And Luca, he's going to eye you. And he's going to step to here. So he's still within your threat, and so there's no AO. But he's he's just kind of like, hands up. And he's he's moved over to where the chair is from you, so that you're not right up onto his face. Is he is he gonna try and sit down, or is he just? <laughs> um, no, he's not. He's not that uh, that relaxed yet. Either take a seat or go in there. <laughs> uh, he's just gonna look at you. That's fair. Uh, Valin is going to come over to the desk. Okay. Uh, she's, you don't really know what she's into. She's definitely futzing around on the desk. Um, Flynn, you are back up. Um, talking right to Levi. Levi. No, this fight's done. This fight's done. You, you got, you got Imdra. You, you got stuff from Zalvana and Delphi. What else do you need today? I need all those Durgar dead. Have you forgotten what I've asked Zalvana to do? No, I haven't. But I've got two more people that I don't know where they are. All right. And puppet strings going on with, with the town speakers. I need to at least know what they're doing and where my people are. And if these motherfuckers can dig to the ground and find them, I need that first. Persuasion with advantage. Who? Oh, double 13. Wait, no, that's not a, no, this is 13. Um, that's going to put me at 17. You hear. Hmm. And then a 
again, almost as if strings were cut. Imdra hits the ground like a sack of potatoes. Thank goodness. And that's all you get from it. He doesn't he doesn't engage with you further. Um I will still allow you your move, your bonus. Um Yeah, uh basically I'm gonna I'm gonna stand uh in the doorway here. Um uh full on Chris Pratt, Jurassic World, like <laughs> <laughs> Raptor hands yeah, for, rap, for Meat Shields hands. and <laughs> And the lead Durgar and be like, just, you know, no weapons. We're, do we're done. We're done. You call stop. I'm calling stop. Okay. I like it. Uh, the professor is not in the room with you, though. Professor. Just want to see what uh, you get into here. Nope. I'm on my way into the room. I've heard him yell stop. Um. So, Flynn, you... You're Chris Prattin' it out, and the professor burst in the door down there. <laughs> like fucking Keystone Cop ready. Uh, I'm going to use my telekinetic shove to pull Luca toward me and away from the Durgar. Interesting. Okay. So what would that, is that a strength save he has to make? It is, I'm trying to find it. I'm pretty sure it's just a strength save against my spell save DC, which should be 15. Okay. So um, Luca, strength, strength save against spell, uh, yeah, spell strength save. 15. Yeah. Okay. F I get advantage on this as well. So let's uh, see if I roll it correctly and roll on saving throws. I do on saving he, throws. Save yeah. Gun. There's a three for the first one. Great. And a, and a 14, 14 for the second. Doesn't matter. Oh. I'm just going to pull him backwards and sit him down in that chair right in the middle there. In the middle. Okay. Yep. So look, if you could move yourself to the middle and now you're seated in What's kind of a comfortable chair for us? I mean, way better actually than the bed in the cell downstairs. You're like, they must have pulled the padding out of the beds to put in these damn chairs. Uh, I'm just confused how the fuck I got this chair. <laughs> Professor, anything else? Uh, that's a bonus action. I'm trying to see if I have any like decent actions I can take, but I don't think so. It was a bonus? Jesus. Yeah. It's, yes, it was a bonus Jesus. Hashtag bonus, bonus Jesus. Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, yeah, I'm just going to look at Flynn and say, try to get all the Dargar in the room and, and shut the doors and... I'll I'll scoot Kruf Krufiel. I can't control him, but Krufiel can you scoot can't. into this room. I'm I'm sorry. I thought that he was. I'll, I'll double check that token. I, that must be a setting I have messed up in him. Anyway, and I will shut this door down here. And if it locks, I will lock it. Uh, yeah. From the inside, you can lock it. Yeah. Yeah. There was not a mechanism on the outside, but there is on the inside. This seems to be a room where they would have um, kind of higher level meetings um yes. kind of a city council kind of meeting place yeah well we're about to we're about to have a high level meeting so <laughs> this um, is perfect so that's your turn yeah imdra uh, flynn you see that she Ooh, can i ready in action actually sure i'm going to ready a mind sliver for the next person that makes an aggressive action. Damn it. <laughs> <laughs> okay, fair enough. Um, Flynn, you see Imdra, she, she's kind of in a pile on the ground and she kind of begins to come to and, and shakes her head clear. And she looks up and sees the Durgar in front of her. And it kind of on the ground recoils a bit and, and tries to bring her sword up in a defensive stance and looks at you. 
Just, Flynn, Flynn. We're, for, we're good for now. We're good. She's going to, on her butt, scoot away from him. And then when she gets kind of in the out of his threatened zone, she's going to stand up. And she still, she still has her sword. But for the moment, the moment, she's letting you take the lead. Um, she, she seems to be present and very confused. Luca. Well, I'm already in the chair. I'll put away my rapier and just kind of pull out my pipe and have difficulty with it because I'm all frosty. Still have frosty claws hands. So uh we'll we'll say that uh that Crufiel can uh can actually come over and uh, if you allow him to, he'll take the your your matches from you and and help you get your pipe lit. <laughs> I won't stab you today. Mm, ah, yes, yeah, very good. Thank you, thank you. And I will just <laughs> relax and sit back in the chair because everyone's telling me to stop. <laughs> You'll sit back in the chair because you don't know how you got there. Nope, so I'm going to make it look natural as fuck. Can I roll deception on that? <laughs> um, I meant to sit down. Unfortunately, no one's paying that much attention to you. Uh, Flynn, this this, yeah. Dur this Durgar, of uh, the one that had been engaged with Imdra and me at S.H.I.E.L.D., will act as though he's kind of sheathing, and the blade disappears and vanishes, and he is kind of just hands up now, looking at you and looking at me at shield. I'll like gesture him to come into the room. Okay. He will, he will slowly come in and move to the other side of who he thinks of as his boss. Um, if the intentions are that there are no more aggressions, I can drop this turn order and we can just get into the RP of this. Is that the intention for everyone? It is for me. <laughs> I'm good with that, yeah. I've been forcibly <laughs> stood down either way, so... <laughs> More really Sorry, sat, sat down. Um, okay, Flynn, it's your show. Ooh, all right. Um, Im Imdra will move up to see what's happening. Imdra, you come in here. Uh, Miat Shield, don't let that weird little snake thing get out of here. Um, okay. I'm actually gonna look at Flynn and say, uh, I'm gonna let you handle this. I wanna see if the speaker was keeping any records on, on where our friends might be. I'll join you in a second. Nice, okay. Are we gonna invite the old lady in here or is she staying in there? Uh, no, she can come in here too. She's currently turning the desk over. Uh, um, ooh, ooh, ah, if you could, if you could please <laughs> allow me to, to, uh, to search this before you make it, make it a mess, please. Well, I mean, I've been searching this for the last three rounds. You just have been too busy running around to notice. <laughs> uh, Watch not, out. That one's a fireball. Not like it's the first time I've ever searched a desk before, Sonny. Uh, Yes, uh, there was some more important matters to uh, attend to, but uh, we have some some friends that are missing, and I, I very much think that uh, the speaker might know where they might have been, and hoping he uh, he kept records. And as I'm talking, I'm gonna casually just like flick my arm out, or where my arm used to be, and mm -hmm. tentacle whip that snake <laughs> to kill it. Yeah, I'm gonna take that thing out. I don't want that thing sticking around. Yeah, making it, making attack. Though I mean, this technically is an attack. No, making it, making an attack. <laughs> me, me at shield is trying to figure out how he's gonna grab this thing and hold on to it, and then. Uh, let's say seventeen to hit. Roll the damage. <laughs> 2 D six for. 11 i rolled a five and a six. Oh man you uh I, I let you, why don't you tell me why don't you tell me i was just gonna say something and i was like that's silly why don't you tell me 
uh, I'm gonna just like as I'm talking to her, I'm like, I I would I would really just rather investigate that desk myself and just whip that out and just just snap this thing straight in half with a with a weird purple glow and tentacle that erupts out of my shoulder and just she, whoosh, uh, like, like a whip. She's she's for sure impressed with that, and she will say, "Importance is in the eye of the beholder." There are all sorts of important things, and she'll slap down a book, and you you recognize it as the ledger that had come around, and you see the the fake names that Imdra gave, mm-hmm. and then she will slap another book that's almost identical to that on top, <clears throat> and it has all the same names in it, but in the margin next to it, there's... Give me a perception roll with advantage. It's not going to help. <laughs> it might. Oh, hey, I got 18 and a 19. <laughs> so you notice that the numbers uh, on the left-hand margin are things like 220 GP, 185 GP, 50 GP, Excellent. and then like dash, dash, dash. And so all of your names from earlier just have dashes next to them. And she points down at one name. And the name on the list is Velen Harple. And in the margin next to it, it says winner. Ooh. So, yes, I want you to find your friends. But important, there's more important things. Or maybe things as important uh, as your what friends. Did- what was her name again? Velen Vel- what? Velen Harpel. H A R P E L L. Mm-hmm. I don't think Professor would know that name. I don't think that he would either. Uh, I don't think there's any way that he would know does, who that is. Does Pike know who that is? Possibly. <laughs> <laughs> the Harpels are are a big deal. So if she is one of the Harpels. That would be interesting. I don't know. Um, um, so she will right. have having found that she's going to leave those kind of out in the open and she's going to start turning his body over and like gesture for you to have the desk. Flynn. Well, I'm not going to let her do that without me noticing either i'm just gonna i'm just she's not she's not trying to she's not trying to hide it from you yeah you said you wanted to go through the desk so she gave way and let you have the desk and now she's turning the body over yeah i just don't want her to touch stuff yeah well (laughs) like like i said (laughs) like i said sunny i sent my first go around and feel free to turn the desk over yeah uh don't you have a shitty investigation as well anyway no, I have a great. You have a good one. Okay, okay. That's Flynn, the one. That's your... the one thing I built my character to do. <laughs> we will move to your room, Flynn. The floor is yours. Okay. May all your rolls do well. <laughs> um, I'm gonna like as I'm walking in. I'm talking to the lead Jirgar there. Um. What? Are you gonna stay in the doorway, or are you gonna move in more? I'll move. I'll move in, um, especially between him and Luca. I don't know what the fuck's gonna happen there. <laughs> All right, uh, I'm just sitting, clicking my, clicking my <laughs> ice fist on the table like that annoying person just going. Miat Shield will come back and he'll go. Snake's dead. Thank you. Imdra has has relaxed. Maybe. Imdra has relaxed, but is still, she still has her sword out, but she is, you can tell she's no longer raging. She's in a relaxed state and still wondering what in the hell is happening. Okay. Probably going to make everybody angry with this. <laughs> um, uh, I'm asking the leader guard, what did the speaker want with you? He promised us Shardlin. 
Would Luca recognize <laughs> Charlene? Why don't you roll me a 1d20? And we'll say uh, 14 and above that you would, and anything under that that you won't. All right. Roll. God damn it. Didn't go over to roll 20. It was an 11, so. Ah. That, I mean, that's close enough to the 14 that you probably have heard that word, but you don't know what it is beyond that context. Don't know its importance. Okay. Yeah, I think we, I, I don't think I have any anymore. I thought you were going to say, no, no, Flynn, I want to be in there too. I want to search the body. I want to search the desk <laughs> and I want to hear what's going on in the conference room. I want to be everywhere. I want to be everywhere. And I want to clean the flower up downstairs. It's the last of the flower. Krufiel is, Krufiel is just dictating this meeting to me. Okay. Yeah, that's, I'm good with that. Um, promised us the Chardolin, but uh, never, never quite seemed to have it with him. Did other speakers promise you Chardolin? Other speakers don't want to talk to us. I wouldn't know why. And he will slow, like, side-eye you at the table and come back to Flynn, who he feels is obviously in charge. Uh, okay. I don't think he was going to ever give you Chardolin. Mm. Can you find people? Well, yes, the, they're all of you are. I know you can dig through the ground. No more digging until we get paid for what we have done. What have you done? Do you have, do you have Chardolin? No, I, uh, no, I didn't, I didn't pick up any Chardolin. I think Professor picked up a piece or something, but I don't have any, right? I'm asking you, buddy. I'm, I'm asking, I'm asking. Oh, I, <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. I, I was acting. I'm sorry. <laughs> Uh, I no, I, I think right? I think after the the unfortunate incident with the professor in East Haven, right. I think you guys got rid of pretty much all of the Chardolin that you had. Remember that the statue in East Haven had been busted up and they were the Chardolin was put into bags. And mm -hmm. after the Durgar and Drow incursion, those bags went missing. They stole it. And say, so we've technically given them all of our Chardolin already. OK. Okay. Okay. All right. That's one way to think about it. Yeah. We, we just paid in advance. No, the fact uh, that saying that they stole it, that's one way to think about it. It's not the only some, way to think about it, though. Oh, it, somebody stole it. They, they got it back. <laughs> they liberated it. Um, oh, okay. It. Um, Until we're paid for what we've done. No more digging for topsiders. Fair enough. I have no Chardolin to pay you. Um, if no, if no more Chardolin means no more dealings in this town, go. Mm, point of order. Point of order. Yeah. Yes, Luca. The person y'all were trying to get paid for is a different individual. We want a new deal. New deal, new payment, new everything. We're not with that last asshole. You, I'm pretty sure I, I saw a dead body in the corner. Pretty sure one of our guys did it. So we can't pay for his bullshit. You, you got to take it up with his next in line. We can pay for our bullshit, but that's new payment. Uh, do you, do you see where I'm going with this? Do you hear say Chardolin? Do you have Chardolin? He's he, he's gonna he's gonna look at at the guy behind him he's gonna look back at you all Durgar pretty much the same 
all topsiders pretty much the same. No that's more digging. A up view on life. I no guess. more digging until we uh, get paid for what we've done. He said the Chardolin was here and we will find it. Shit. I'm gonna uh, shoot a message to the professor. Um, any info about Chardolin in there? Um, I will uh, <laughs> look through the desk and see what I can find. Give um, me an investigation roll, please. Um, why don't you give me an investigation roll with advantage because Velen did really well on her rolls and let's say she's kind of put things into into order. Um, if, if I want to use d20 inspiration, do I have to declare it before I roll? Well, you have it with advantage already because I just gave you advantage. Yes, but could I... You cannot use d20 when you have a roll that's advantage. <laughs> Okay. Well, I got a natural 18 plus 9, 27. Okay. Um, yes. So you have your writing utensils down? Ready? Uh, yeah. Hit me. So in the desk, you find the official lottery notebook. You find the lottery notebook that has payments written in it. You find a small box in the speaker's desk. And when you open it, um, give me, just give me a, crack me off a perception roll real quick. Cocked, hold on. 15. Uh, there's a small box that it looks like maybe it has 30 or so bracelets in it. They're similar to the one that you saw on the guy at the Luskin Arms. Um, you can tell just by kind of looking in there that there's there are gold bracelets and platinum bracelets. Um, in the very back of the lowest drawer, you find a bag that has pieces of Chardlin in it. Uh, roll me a history check, please. Uh, this is the stuff that straight up cursed me last time I touched it. Faux show. Well, you don't... The, the Chardolin is, yes. Then, uh, history... Where the heck is my character sheet? Uh, plus 14. Uh, this bag looks exactly like the bag that... Xander had pieces like mage handed put into in East Haven. Okay. So not only is this the same stuff that cursed you, this is part of the same exact statue that cursed you. Great. Um, so yeah, I'll, uh, I'll message Flynn back and say, uh, okay, Flynn, Play it cool, but there is some Chardolin in here. Uh, this is some of the some of the stash that was taken out of East Haven. Okay. Um. Oh, so I'll go, I'll go back to and ask the Durgar, what were you paid to do? We've been working on the new road. Is that underground? Part of it. Roll a history check, Flynn. Oh, uh, actually, you know what? Never mind. Imdra's in the room. Um, it, it, yeah, there, there's... Uh, I said that they had cut from East Haven... North of Bryn Shander, it looked as though there was a construction project, a, a new road going from East Haven to Targos to, to, to cut Bryn Shander out of the loop. And she says that, and the Durgar gives the affirmative. Like, he's not talking to her because she's done, like, beat ass on everybody. Yeah. <laughs> uh, but he, he will affirmative nod to her and then look back to you. 
Much work have we done for the speaker of Targos. All right, then. You've done the work. I'll see about finding you, Shardalyn. The speaker took two of my people. If you heard anything about someone they've captured, or, or have you taken people for them? We're not in the business of kidnapping people. Um, they pick people up all the time, put them in the jails downstairs, use them for the sacrifices. Okay. So, you haven't come across a drow and an elf? Um... In my lifetime, many drow, many elves. Specifically for for a job within the past few days. Again, we don't snatch people. Topsider's job. <clears throat> All right. And Luca, you, you would... The, there were guards. Maybe they were kind of just had a black cloak on over this kind of silly mercenary armor that they've been wearing, but they were folks you have noticed here as guards. You have not smelled who you would remember took you yet. Uh, none of the folks you've interacted with in here have been those people, but you would confirm that you were snatched by a couple of humans. Um, if you leave without being seen, This won't be on you. This isn't on me. I understand. He points to Imdra. This on her. I will deal with that. She she seems to be kind of remembering, but in disbelief that 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 happened. She does not she does not say that he's wrong, but the look on her face is definitely one of consternation. Um, um let's jump back for a moment to the professor. Um Valin finishes kind of rummaging the body and sets a pile of crap on the uh on the desk in front of you. Anything of use. Uh, well, yes, yeah, several things. Um, the, uh, she, she pulls out his, his rapier and sets it on the desk. Um, she has one of the, the bracelets like you had seen in there. And this one looks like it's a platinum and she puts it on her wrist. But in the pile on the desk, there's, uh, 15 gold, 13 silver, Eight copper. I'm going to make you repeat that in just a second. Yep. Uh, 15, 13, 8. 15 gold. Mm -hmm. 13 silver, 8 copper. Okay. A ring of three keys. And a, um, a little notebook. It's kind of a small guy, kind of like a, like a moleskin. And if you, if you just kind of thumb it, it seems to be written in some sort of cipher, but it was uh, on, it was on his person, like inside his inner vest pocket. She tells you, so, so important probably. Yes. Quick question. Mm -hmm. Um, your read languages does not break ciphers. It says you can read all writing. Are the exact words of the invocation. Hmm. That that is my that is my argument. I will let hmm. you do with that what you decide, and I will accept your decision. But it let's does say let's talk about writing. it in the in the week. It may be that I let you have it because I I know a lot of what's in the what's in the notebook. Um, right. It may be that I let you have it. I know that comprehend languages, which I think 
that spell is intended or that feature is intended to be taken from doesn't you can read the words but if it's in a cipher if it's encoded you can't make sense of the encoding okay i could so, i could i could understand that um so it may it may fully be that you can understand the words but you're also really smart so it, it might be we may do a couple of rolls in the midweek yeah and that it I, may be that you can just you can crack the cipher mm-hmm. and then you'll be a crypto that'd be great um and Professor, one more perception check from you. Uh, perception? Yeah. Do I want to blow my d20 on this one? I don't know. Maybe. Can I roll it and then decide? You can roll it, and I won't tell you if you have succeeded or failed. Okay. And then you can decide. That's all I need. It's so oh, average. It's so it's average, so, isn't it's it? It's so average. <laughs> uh, why not? I'll I'll spend it. I'll blow it. It was a birthday present anyway. <laughs> uh, okay, that's better. It's a fourteen. You uh, you get the feeling that she might be holding a little bit of something back from you but you don't have enough. Like it's enough that you want to keep privately. You want to keep your eye on her, but yes. you don't have enough that even the professor doesn't have enough that he would, could just accuse on something. And I know the professor's limit for that. It's pretty fucking low. Uh, yeah. Um, man, could I, could I logically think through, what I would expect to find on the keeper. Sure, sure. So let me say this. Why don't you roll a history and make an 18? That's not going to do it. That's a six plus six, 12. Mm. There's, there's something from earlier that you yeah. feel like you saw. But it's just, it's kind of at the edge of your mind at the moment. Yeah, my mind's going fuzzy. I'm getting old. Yeah, join the club, she says. Um, shall we see what your friends are into? Yes. Um, I am going to take that bag of Chardolin. Mm-hmm. So we're gonna before you decide what you're gonna do with it, we'll say that it is. I mean, it's a good size bag. Remember, it was it was a big ass statue that was broken up. Um, you failed your history check earlier to know how many bags. Do you remember how many bags it was put into? But you it know was it was more, more than, than one. You know it was more than one, and yeah. so we're gonna say that this bag is probably, I don't know, a, a foot and a half tall, and maybe. 12 inches wide and you know, six or eight inches deep. I mean, it's, it's a nice sized bag. Okay. Not something um, you could secret on your person. Let's no, that's, no, no. maybe that's my point. You couldn't secret it on your person. Yes. What I wanted to do was use my tentacle mage hand and just shove it up the chimney for now. As long as the chimney is not lit. Oh, interesting. Uh, yeah, I don't have a fire drawn in there. Uh, and we haven't, discussed anything about the fire so so sure do you want to do it stealthily or do you think it just won't be noticed uh i, I, I my point is that it would be hidden if you would like a stealth check for that i can gotcha 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 uh no if you're not trying to like not make any noise in the other room because it'll make a little bit of noise but yeah no, yeah, no that's i'm just just gonna take it sh 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 just shove it up there yeah, we'll, we'll say that you can you can find uh <laughs> yeah, clip yep. it. Um you just you'll find something that, that you can kind of hook it onto that it it won't immediately fall back down. Now, the moment someone lights fire in there, we may have other issues, but Yeah, it's just temporary. I cuz I wanted to walk into the room and before we just present a bag of shardle into these guys. <laughs> so you have payment? You don't have payment. Um, does the professor in enough to hear that? 
Yeah, he says this to you as the professor's <clears throat> walking in. Um, and you see that Valen is kind of right behind me at shield. She's she's still in a, in a in a defensive pose. Like if she has to fireball all of you, she'd be all right with that. That's fair. Did Velen see the bag of Chardolin? Considering she tossed the desk uh, before you, I'm sure that she saw there was a bag of something. OK. Um, so, yeah, I'm, I'm going to telepathic with Flynn. Just be like, well, we do we do have the Chardolin if we're. If that is the way to defuse this situation, then I don't. I. I would prefer to give it to them than to risk further violence, but I do worry about what they intend to do with it. It's a bridge for later. Um, I say we have we have no idea what Chardolin is capable of, do we? Not really. The the only real um, interaction you've had with it was the statue and then the Chardolin darts that yeah. professor did surgery with um you do yeah. know that the the sword the black sword pendants look like maybe that they're chardolin as well but in all the ones in the keep that you had seen no one no one seemed to be possessed of it by you so the or like like you were so the the breadth okay. and depth of chardolin and its capabilities i think are still are still unknown to so you guys, you guys know one slice of what it can do, or what okay. it can be made to do. Um, I mean, yeah, I I'll just look at this Durgar and say, we have we have encountered Chardolin before, and it was not a pleasant experience. Would you be Would you be willing to to tell us what you what you need it for? Hmm. No. We need it as payment for work we have done. And that is all that you need to concern yourself with. I'm going to tell the professor, they're building a road. We can't use them to find um, Xander and um, Feriel. You almost forgot her name, didn't you? If there's Feriel and there and there's Zalvana and there's <laughs> a lot of names. There's a lot of a lot names. Of names. <laughs> Lots of vowels. Lots of vowels. <laughs> Lynn, I don't I don't feel right giving this stuff to them. If it the payment that they agreed and the work that they agreed to do was not was not our deal. We, we are under no obligation to honor the speaker's arrangement. Are you saying that, are you talking to is this all in your heads or are you saying yeah, this we're tele, we're, Yeah, we're telepathic right now. So now he's, um, just, he's just kind of looking at the two of you stare at each other. Yes. Um, we took out a, a raid party in the basement. The no, no it'll bite us in the ass later but the very least we can do is let these ones get out of here and deal with it the next time <laughs> I mean they're they're going to leave with or without the Shardoman. I I would I would prefer them to leave without it if they don't know it's here if we can just let them believe that the speaker betrayed them and didn't keep his end of the bargain. Can you do that lie? Enough making Why eyes not? at each other. Do you have our payment? I'm glad somebody barged in on that because that was getting a little a little much, y'all. No. They're the speaker referenced some Chardolin, but he doesn't have it. He was actively trying to find it, and uh, it seems you came for payment earlier than he expected. 
he doesn't have it. And this is the first time we've been fucked over by a speaker. Oh, well, they know that's a lie. Uh, one of you make a deception. What? Wait, you said no. it's you said it's the first time? No, this oh. isn't the first time. Oh, I thought you said I thought you said this is the first time we've been fucked over by a speaker. No. Okay. Gotcha, gotcha. So one of you, I don't care whom, make a deception check with advantage. Or your... you can or you can both roll singularly. I got I got a plus seven. <laughs> why why was that the question? Just roll it with an advantage. Okay. <laughs> Uh, it's a nine. It's a 16. <laughs> he looks at his friends. He looks back at you. No more work do we do on the road. We must get paid for what we have done. And he sta- he slowly stands up like he's not like popping the chair with his legs or anything. He slowly stands up and it seems as though they're making ready to go. And he looks right at you, Flynn. Targos has 24 hours to pay or it burns. And then they will slowly and not aggressively begin walking out. You're, you're not your deal, the Targos's deal. You can go free. Targos must pay. Are you going to draw a picture of all of us so that way in 24 hours you don't come back and fuck us up too? <laughs> <laughs> also, also curious, how, how much did he say he needed to pay you? Just in case these fine folk want to be nice. I ain't got shit on me. <laughs> I've been in a cell all day. I'm sure it's in his papers. No drawings. I'll just keep five topsiders alive. Okay, we'll make sure <laughs> one of them looks like this and we're all going. Is he a racist, Thargar? Is he implying we all look alike? <laughs> you know what? I mean, I'm sure that uh, we could make that argument the other way with the way that topsiders talk about the Durgar. I, it's not our fault uh, to use the same token for all of them. God damn it. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Oh my god. Fair point. Uh, fair point. Well, I have two different types in there, at least. That is nice. That's I do like true. that. Yeah, that's how I, I knew still haven't was... figured out if there's an actual difference between them. But... There, there actually is a difference between them. Okay. Oh, and here I thought those two guys that looked alike were just twins. <laughs> no, it's you guys have no idea how much work it is to get tokens together for a game like this. I know. That's <laughs> I, I, that's have a fol- I have a folder shit. with literally hundreds of tokens in it. Um, and so, yeah, unless you guys stop them. Uh, and, and I mean, as they're passing the door, Imdra, Imdra will look at you, Flynn, like, Flynn, uh, 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 we're, uh, we're letting them go? Or Flynn. No. Yes. <laughs> Fine. Imdra. Imdra, you want to get loud with me? You're the one that split the fucking head of the speaker in there. Oh, that was you? That was great. That was great work. And so if you guys aren't stopping them, they will continue to make their way out. You hear Guard outside like, oh, uh, uh, oh, like they're moving past the guards. Guard, escort, escort them out. Escort them out. Or you, escort them out. Uh, 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 okay. Because they, so, they still got, if they're walking through the front door. <laughs> are they dude. going through the front door or down through their tunnel? I don't know, but it's, if they're going down their, the stairs, I don't know where anything else goes. I know where we came up from. So. <laughs> uh, the, good. That was a good play. If you didn't already have inspo, I would give it to you. That was, <laughs> that was, a, that was about to be Whoa. a whole new shit show downstairs. Um, <laughs> Uh, uh, should we uh, follow him out or do we have more business up here? No, we've got uh, business up here because we've I, got it. A... All right. I, 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 you're right. I, I, I 
God, I guess I've got to turn myself in. M M -dra I'm, M -dra I murdered... Flynn, I murdered a speaker. Imdra, the speaker hired Durgar to break in here and kill people. Yes. This, the yes. rabbit yes. hole for this has gone down so far, Imdra. And he should have stood trial for that, Flynn. I had no right to just... I, 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 I was so angry and I just... I was so cold. And I just... I remember talking to you and moving. And then before I knew it, I, I had just... I had hit him. And then I hit him again. I, I was so angry. And it was so cold, Flynn. All right, fine. All right. Um, um, I she's have, actually I have a... she's actually gonna lay her blade on the table and slump into that chair. Um, I've got a ridiculous question. I, I love it, and this is gonna be the last question of the night because we're coming up to the the end. So make it a good yeah. one, my friend. Absol absolutely fair. Absolutely fair. Um, uh, so I know my order doesn't like have like it doesn't have jurisdiction up here i'm basically like like a like a lone like a lone agent like in another a lone country. wolf flynn oh my fucking god <laughs> <laughs> <Philadelphia>. <laughs> um uh so i have a wish ryan can't. had been here for that uh, uh, like i i like like military law can i conscript imdra as like under my arrest, uh, I would like I witnessed the I witnessed the murder, and then under like my my guild, I could try her for the murder of an official, but she's under my watch. Hmm. I don't know if it will make her feel better or not, or if it would hold the test of time with law. But you absolutely could do it. Okay. All right. Cool. Um. But uh, drumhead justice coming up. <laughs> All right, all right then. Uh, I'll like look, Imdra. Fine, you killed him. I'm placing you. I'm placing you under my arrest. You're under my responsibility. I will try you at a time that sees fit, and your judgment will be decided. So, from that means you're now under my responsibility, which means you don't speak of this to anyone, because your word could construe the means of justice needs to be delivered. So, you stick with you. You're under my watch, and you don't speak of this to anyone else. Okay. You'll be properly judged at the at, at the at the at, at a later point in time. But for right now, we've got to deal with what's going on here. Um, <clears throat> I th I think okay. part of this, Flynn. I think we. And I mean, Zal I mean, including I mean, Imdra and Zalvana and uh, Delphi. Delphina. I I think we all need to have a very serious conversation about who we allow to influence ourselves within this group because things are getting out of hand. No shit. And with that, <laughs> we're going to end the stream tonight. And, oh, Professor, I just make sure that you add Flynn in there since he, during that fight, brokered a deal. He did make a deal. And that's why I love this game and these players and all of you at home watching us. Because I tried to tempt you with power and you wouldn't take it. And then... All you need is love, Flynn. All you need is stupid love. Characters are stupid. Because... <laughs> mm -mm -mm -mm. 